I advertise this shit? Maru is following me. Thank you so much. <laughs> Welcome to my stream, and I hope you learned something. I'm just getting my thread set up, trying to figure out what kind of thread color I want. This has been like forever since I've um, attached anything into the wig before. The last time I did it was, well, I guess, was gone. But still, you forget stuff. This look good. I'll probably advertise on Twitter. color. I really want to use it. Come on. Hmm. Come on. I see some people tuning in. So I guess if you don't know already, <laughs> welcome to the stream. I'm going to be working with, um, this wig from Mithril Wigs today, and I'm gonna be putting my Warbla thermoplastic armor into the wig. Wait, those pieces you made are getting attached to the wig? How we keep them from flopping around? Well, you will just see how I'll keep them from flopping around. Haha! -ha. That's how I get you to watch me. You can steal all my secrets. Yeah, basically what we're going to be doing today is using magnets in the wig. I can't freaking get this thread started. <clears throat> Goodness me. Goodness. Alright, whatever. Fuck. I'm going to use black. Yeah, because you're not really going to see the attachment anyways. I just want to try at least okay so what I'm gonna be starting with <laughs> a little needle here and hey Jets is now following me hey Jets <laughs> how are you welcome to my stream okay basically um, right before I started before I had a shower um, I put the wig on and I was seeing how best to um, place my head attachments because let's check this wig out usually when I do this kind of stuff I will use um, the lace part right here that goes uh, like around your hair hairline to kind of attach stuff into it because um, there's just more to grab onto when you're sewing into the wig so it's good that this this wig is from Mithril Wigs and they have a nice little lace part right here that I'm going to use and work with. Here, I wonder if I can show you. It's going to be really bad when I put on the wig. It's not going to look like perfect, but if I can demonstrate it to you. Good work on cannons, here to learn Ashley wig styles. Welcome. Yeah. Learn all my secrets. Hi 
Renee. <laughs> what is up? So I'm just putting my hair in a ponytail. Um, usually when I'm wearing a wig to a convention, I'll put it up like on my head, but this is just easier because I'm lazy. Like, just checking out where the front is on this. ridiculous right now but basically um, the two little lace parts they are just right here on my temple and that is going to be perfect okay and Shara Gone is now following me thanks for following me <laughs> basically um because you'll have the wig on your head when you're positioning where you want to put your stuff um and so I feel the, the lace thing right here and if I hold up, if I hold up my war glove attachment to where I want it to be, I can feel it just like on the very edge there because Leona's headdress, it um, it looks like they're like on her ears kind of thing. So we're gonna do the next best thing and put them just above her ears. Am I making a new Leona cosplay? Not at the moment. I am just doing a mini project um, for Mithril wigs with, with their wig here. Kind of like, I don't have time for another cosplay right now because I'm going to do, um, we'll finish Jaina from World of Warcraft eventually here and um, then make my BlizzCon costume. <sighs> I gotta do that before I start making new plans, but I would love to be Valkyrie Le or um, regular skin Leona because she's just so cool looking. Um, so I made a little list here so I don't freak out. First thing I'm going to do is make little um, attachments under the wig. So I'm first I'm just going to sew some um, fabric under the wig so my magnets that are going to be attaching the headdress onto my head. They have something to hold on to other than just the lace and the wig. So the magnets I'm using aren't very big because my headdress um, armor thingies, they're not very big either. So this is about the size I'm using. Tiny little things. <clears throat> you really look as amazing as Leona. Aw, oh, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> so what I'm going to do here, um, wonder which side, which magnet I'm gonna put into, like I'm gonna sew into the wig here. Yeah, there's two little bits. There's a skinny bit, a skinny bit, it's really thin, and a thicker bit, like that. Um, I'm probably going to put the thicker bit into the wig. So let's see. But before I actually um, attach fabric onto this one, I'm going to cut a piece of fabric for under the wig. That's going to help this one stay on. I'm just going to map out how much about I need. Let's check the wig base here. 
your favorite cosplay of mine? Thank you. I love being Leona. Like, it was so much fun. Um, forget the pain that those killer boots put me through. It, yeah, probably my favorite to wear because I like having the big shield and the sword. I was just like, ah! <laughs> so much fun. And it helps that people actually recognize the character. Um, I'm going to cut a big swatch here because I don't care. You can always cut some away later, but it's better to cut more than more fabric for the stability under the wig than you need, because whatever. Whatever. I'm just removing this little um, tightening elastic just on my way here. Um, I usually don't even need those when I'm wearing a wig because I have just so much hair that I have to, have to stuck under the wig cap. Your cat's named Leona. That's so cute. My cat used to be called Evie. But she died. She was old. So now we have a new cat. And her name is Mint. <laughs> just like a random sound. Because she's just so annoying. <laughs> Went from moopy to poopy and stoopy. My dad doesn't like her. She's my cat though. Um, seeing how much I need here. Cutting my little piece of fabric to shape. The fabric I'm using is um just like spandex, but um it's not stretchy anymore because I um, ironed interfacing onto the back of it, which is just helps it be a little bit more rigid, and you need that for um, stability under the wig. Um, I'm just cutting up just a scrap piece of fabric that I'm not going to ever use for anything else. And that you don't have to cut new fabric, just uh, something that's either like black or white or it matches the color of your wig. And that is perfect. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put it here. <sighs> Never attached something right like this before. Um. So I have it positioned just like this. I'm going to show it to you. Ugh. So I have, this is where my ear is, right here. My ear goes here. This part is right on my temple, the inside of the wig cap here. So I'm taking this little piece of fabric and I'm going to put it just on the edge here. So I'm just going to sew it like that. So I have some room to work with. You don't have to make it super tiny or super accurate for under the wig here, but you do you, dude. Figure out what works for you. This works for me. I always cut stuff bigger than I need. Just in case. Um, hi, Nixie Cosplay. Am I using rare, rare earth magnets? And do you happen to know the weight load on them? I just ordered some off Amazon. <laughs> I was like, those are cheap. So I just ordered them. Um, they work though, because they've held up. Um, I use them in Mercy, Mercy's weapon. Um, both of them actually. Mercy's wig. They're just, I don't know, cheap. <laughs> I, have, I don't really know, probably. They're, I don't know. <laughs> um, see, so I like your Leona and Mercy cosplay. Oh, thanks. I don't know what I'm going to be wearing Leona next, but I'm definitely going to be wearing Mercy end of the month at SakuraCon. I got her all right there. Ah, I was fixing her up last night. Lunar Poetry is now following me. Thanks for following me. And just going to thread some black thread. Get a lot. So I can start sewing this piece of fabric into the underside of the wig. That Kylo mask though. Yeah! I love Kylo Ren so much. You see my little display in the back here? Totally, totally not showing off a couple things back there. <clears throat> my Mercy wig. 
Another wig from Mithra Wigs that I wore for my Blood Elf cosplay. And my Kylo Ren helmet and the <laughs> progress in my Jaina cosplay. Which is just on hold right now. I don't want to do it. <laughs> Fuck. I, like lose interest in a cosplay. It's hard to get back into it. And it's sewing. Sewing is freaking hard. Serious respect for people who sew. Uh, making a little knot here. Here. Long piece of thread. And I'm knotting at the end. Amazon is the best. Yeah. I, um... I ordered so much on Amazon Prime when I was just like trying to do Mercy really, really, really quick back in October. I got the Amazon Prime um, month free trial, and holy shit, that that saved my life. It absolutely saved my life. But right now I have um, Amazon Canada Student Prime as a free trial. It's like half a year. I was like, hell yeah, I might just buy it after because just I love Amazon so much. Sewing is my worst nightmare in cosplay. Yeah, but you know what? When you have um, your armor accented beautifully with like a, a well-sewn like undergarment or jacket, like it just makes a world of difference. That's why I really want to like do sewing. Like <laughs> I'm like forcing myself to learn this stupid, <sighs> stupid technique because <laughs> I just want my armor to look better. Uh. Even wig styling is easier, easier than sewing? Yeah, I love wig styling. It's actually so much fun. So much fun. You'd rather make props for days too? Yeah, I love props. Those are my favorite things to make. Cause they don't have to fit you. They just have to look cool. What's scissors are not cutting anything. This fab these fabric scissors. You actually accidentally took home ec and failed a sewing project. <laughs> I remember in my so my um yeah home ec class in grade eight. Yeah, we had to um, make these little shorts and like they were like shitty as hell because they're like made out of this like flimsy cotton. But hey, I learned, but I forgot promptly after when we, when we switched to like the um, cooking portion of the class. So when I'm sewing here, I'm just going to be moving the hair out of the way. So I'm not sewing the hair. I'm not sewing through the hair. I'm sewing um, into the wig cap, the lace wig cap here. That's going to be messy as heck. But who cares because no one's going to see this. And if you accidentally sew some hair and you're like already like... Um, you've passed the point of you can unsew it. <laughs> Just uh, keep going, and you can always pull the hair out later. That's the magic of <laughs> sewing into wigs. You can always just pull the hair out af after with like a pin or a pointy comb. I can definitely agree with that. A well sewn piece can totally make a world of difference. Yes. That's what I want to do from a BlizzCon costume. I'm going to be doing a female Varian Wern. So I want to be all royal and so pretty. And have like a beautiful undergarment to go with my badass, big ass armor on top. Because he's a king or a queen for me. So like, can't have like a bad sewing job. There's just so much hair in this wig. I'm going to um, pin some out of the way. 
with these colorful little see um hair bobby pins that I got from Mithril Wigs. They're gonna be releasing a bunch of new little little hair accessories on their website soon. So tune in for that. They gave me a little preview of what they're gonna have. And they have like this um table clamp that keeps your wig head just sturdy. Oh my god. So awesome. <laughs> I've been using like a uh, like for that Mercy wig, I have like a wig head on like a um, piece of wood and it's just like duct taped down, but the duct tape like it's unsticky. So it just like wobbles sometimes. So much hype for Varian! Oh my god. I can't wait. I'm having trouble here. I cannot wait to be Varian. Oh my god. Just don't want to do Jaina. I just want to work on Varian. Where are we here? When you're sewing stuff into the wig, you want to make sure you're moving the hair out of the way. But it is okay to have hair, like, it's okay to sew th through some hair. Um, just because you're going to want some hair under the area where you have your attachment. This one's kind of tricky because the attachment's like oh, supposed to be right on her ear. So I'm going to be doing it really close to the edge here. For Terragosa and for Alex Raza, it was like no no problem at all. I just like put them right there and just have to make sure they're even. But for this one, a little trick here. But whatever, we'll do it. We'll get through this together. Cause we're all in this together. Do 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 do. Oh my god. Um. Where's my little comb? It's nowhere to be seen. Here's another one. It's, uh, it's harder to sew into wigs too when it's like longer hair because there's so much to get out of the way. Ooh. Can't wait to see the variant. Ah! Thank you! I'm gonna be so excited. I am so excited. And I hope to go to BlizzCon with him too. Because just like an expansion seems to be like variant focused. At least for the first part, because he's like in the cinematic. I cannot wait. Please don't say he's gonna die. I'm gonna. F I'll finna. S I'm a finna snap if he dies. Honest, honestly. I'm not impressed. Clamps. You want to see the wig clamps? I don't know. They're, it's like on the table. <laughs> I mean, I'll show it to you after. Um, but I'm pretty sure Mithril will be having it added to their store in the next while. They're busy. But got exciting stuff coming up too. Am I planning Jaina for um, Sunday BlizzCon? There's not a Sunday, is there? There's Saturday? Um, I wish it was like a three day con, that'd be awesome. And I don't know if we'll take Jaina. I would love to, but I don't know if I have enough space because Varian's gonna be big with the sword and the um, shoulders and all that. But I'd love to. She's so cool. Jaina is the bay. Where are we? Just going through the outline of the piece of fabric I cut out. In and out. Sewing through some hairs here, but it's okay. I combed this wig out really nicely um, before we started, so at least if I'm pulling hairs through the little pieces of thread, um, it's not <clears throat> gonna be tangled too bad, because it's supposed to be all. All not knotted. <laughs> 
And the mithril wig, um, mithril wig wig fibers, they're really soft. Um, and they don't tangle as easy as like Arda or something. Or the china wigs. Oh my god. Miss Lunar Crow, hey! Hi! <laughs> How long did it take me to do my Scourge Stalker Hunter costume? That's your absolute favorite cosplay from anyone ever. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was my first one that I made Warbla with. Um, so it took me six months to kind of get it right. I was working full time at a prison <laughs> that semester too. So um, it was definitely a lot of work, like a couple hours every day at least. Yeah, about, about six months, and then I kept, kept adding little pieces onto it after. Just um, fin touching it up for conventions and stuff. But I also tried to learn a lot of techniques, which made me slower too. Like um, mold making, how to make a bow, LEDs. Um, I used some wood burning techniques on my foam and fabric. I tried to sew. <laughs> I tried to sew the, like the little hip thingies, the little gold things that hang off my hip armor that like no one sees. But hey, I did them, and I was so excited. Just like, yep, felt accomplished. Um, so, are you adding wefts right now? You came in a little late. I am just sewing um, a piece of fabric into the underside of the wig here. I'll show you to you. Show you in a second. One second. Here, because um, I'm going to be adding magnets onto my wig. For anybody who came in late, <laughs> I'm adding magnets into my wig. Um, so I'm going to be sewing magnets into the wig as well as attaching them with Warbla onto my little um, armor things. So, um, to sew magnets into the wig you're gonna sew them in like through the wig cap but you also want to have a piece of fabric on the underside of the wig here uh, just to help reinforce the hand sewing just something else to hold on to instead of just having like um like your thread holding onto the hair keeps it makes it a little bit more sturdy and this is especially important like maybe not so much for um like light little armors like this but if you have like dragon horns and they're like kind of heavy and you want them to be really stable you want to do that for sure so just sewing almost done this one little piece here I think might need to do one more piece of thread and if I'm running out here You might go to BlizzCon. Definitely should if you have the opportunity. <laughs> the convention is so much fun. Like it's my favorite convention of the year. Like the most expensive because it's freaking $200 USD and then plus the Canadian exchange rate, like almost $300 for tickets basically. Cry me a river. But it's so much fun. I'm in costume like all day one. Then I get to enjoy the con, the con um, floor a little bit more on day two. Unless I'm dressing up again, because I like to be a freaking tryhard. Last year, I did not dress up the second day. I was like, nope. You should do a Kylo cosplay. <laughs> I do have a Kylo cosplay. He's actually already sewn. I made it in three days. I like made my own pattern. I was so like, into it. <laughs> I picked up fabric. Yeah, I, I, it's done. I have a Kylo cosplay. It's already done. It's in that box over there if you want to see it. <laughs> I have a lightsaber in the other room. Man, I'm already done. I still have to take a picture of it though. I'm failing. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. Because tomorrow is my day off. Yeah. Thanks for reminding me. Hell yeah. 
Show it off. <laughs> I gotta. I should do a Darth Riven cosplay. Who's that? Darth Riven. Am I going to do the scar? I don't know. This is rigid Collodion. Say I will or not. I have to make sure I can actually take this shit off before I put it all over my face, but yeah. I'm doing the scar. It's gonna be so tight. Who's that? Who's what? Who's what? You live 20 minutes from BlizzCon? Comic-Con wipes your budget. Yo. I'm jealous though, if you can go to like, <laughs> if I can go to one LA Con a uh, year, like I'm freaking happy. <clears throat> I guess BlizzCon's my one. Actually, that was a perfect amount of thread. So now that I have sewn... Uh, I, I did a, like a really patchy sewing job, like all along this black. You can kind of see it there. <clears throat> now that I've done that, I'm just gonna cut this thread off. And I just tie it a couple times. Make sure it really gets tighten there oh one second hello There you go. So I just tied a couple knots into this piece of thread here. I'm gonna cut it off and do the exact same thing onto the other side. <clears throat> there we go. That'll do it. So, yay! It's sewn in. Make sure the hair is okay. Yeah, look. It's like it never happened. <laughs> cool. There's just so much hair. There's so much hair in this wig. So much hair in this wig from Mithril Wigs. <clears throat> I'm going to cut a similar piece onto the other side here using my scrap piece of fabric. Woo! And if you weren't here earlier, I'm just using um, a piece of whatever kind of fabric that you have. It has like, it's kind of thicker than normal. Like I'll use, like this is like spandex with um interfacing just ironed on the back of it just for some stability that I was using for something else but now I'm just using it um, as scrap fabric because it, it has a nice weight to it right now I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side just map out where I want to place this take out my little elastic um, elastic hook thing that you can use to tighten the wig. I'm just going to shove that to the side a little bit. <clears throat> Cutting this a bit more to shape. 
so it doesn't go over the wig and like onto where your skin would be. The fun parts <laughs> right after this. Fun. <clears throat> there you go. Damn, these scissors are bad. Can't even cut goddamn thread. a couple knots on the end here before I start sewing it through. I probably do way too many knots than I need to, but I just love being double sure. One thing I hate to do is redo work that I've already done. Like fixing stuff up for a con. That's just like, the worst. It's just like, I don't want to do this again. You've already done something and then you're forced to like fix it. Like, nope. That's why my cosplays are usually just a collection of mistakes and I don't want to fix. If I do something wrong, I'm just like, well, that's the way it is now. I'm lazy, guys. Help me. Why am I so lazy? When you're sewing um, this into the wig, just make sure you're not pulling anything else. Okay, uh, Squick96 is now following me. Thank you for following me. Hopefully you learned something today. <laughs> um, yeah, when you're sewing, like when you're pulling thread through, through the wig, make sure you're not like taking anything else with the thread. Because I just caught um, myself being caught by this little hook right here and that's not good because if you just um if you don't see it and then you keep going then um you'll no you'll need to fix the problem but you might be too late to be able to pull your thread um, tight again so just be careful every time you um thread the needle through that's tight and where it what it's supposed to be through and not just taking a lot of other stuff with it.
think my chat just failed. So if you're if you ask me a question I didn't respond to it, then definitely let me know. <laughs> but I just have to reconnect. Ace of Spades 0725 is now following me. Thank you for following me. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy learning all my secrets today. I've used this uh, sewing method for my dragon cosplays and Mercy as well because my halo is removable with magnets as well. Makes transportation easier. And then if you re want to remove um, something with magnets and then you have um, an opportunity to use your wig again for another cosplay, then you're just saving money and that's good. Saving money is always good. <laughs> Sometimes I poke myself because I don't use like a thimble or anything. But hey, that's also how I know where my um, needle's going through. I just kind of like feel around for it. Who's my favorite character in League? Probably Leona. <laughs> I love Diana too. Um, but I actually don't play League of Legends. It's not my kind of game. So I just like cosplay from it like a fake gamer girl. My friend Lunar Crow cosplay though, um, or Miss Lunar Crow, she got me into cosplaying um, from League of Legends because we cosplayed as Valkyrie Diana, or Valkyrie Leona and Dark Valkyrie Diana at PAX Prime. Um, Last year or so? <laughs> what games I, do I play? I just play World of Warcraft, basically, and SimCity 4. Because <laughs> I love SimCity. Those games are so freaking good. When I was little, I used to like want to become a city planner because I was just so good at making SimCity cities. It's so much fun. When I upgraded my um, new computer to Windows 10, I was like heartbroken when my win when my um, SimCity 4 game would not work on it because um, it, it was like a disc, so the uh, DRM code or something on it, it wasn't compatible with the newer version of Windows. So I had to rebuy it for $20, but not even mad. I love that game so much. I play it like every day, <laughs> not gonna lie. No fakeness at all. Um, if you think the costumes are badass, it's all that matters. Thank you. I mean, I, I play WoW. <laughs> That's my style of game. I don't really um, enjoy like MOBAs as much. I played Heroes of the Storm, but I think I enjoy it more because you get to play as like badass World of Warcraft um, characters and less about like the gameplay. I actually have no clue what's going on. Which is why I play healer because then I can just, you know, heal people and not like try to go for the objective or whatever. <laughs> YOLO. I don't got time to learn about map objectives. Here. So. Yeah, this is actually, this is the Vanessa from Mithril Wigs. It was very long, very luscious. Needs to be recombed again. But here, turn the wig inside out. And I'll show you kind of what I did. Here's the wig cap. And on both sides, you can see 
little piece of black fabric that I sewed into it. Because that is where this is going to go. Somewhere around there. On the outside, at least. But there's tons of hair in this wig, so you're definitely, definitely dealing with um, full head of hair. SimCity 3000 is where it's at. I tried to play SimCity 3000 by like um, SimCity 4 Rush Hour a lot better. Have I ever tried out Rift? No, I haven't. I've never tried Guild Wars either. Hey, the Black Rift. What's up? I'm just going to get a quick glass of water because my mouth gets dry when I'm talking. So I'm just going to be right back. Be right back. Thank you for following me, JLK27. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, I know them WoW feels seriously like crack to me. Every time I see ads or gameplay, I feel the like craving back in, in you. Yeah, <laughs> I've been playing WoW for nine years, so I definitely understand. I've tried to quit, but it's just like, I want to PvP today, or I just feel like sitting in Stormwind watching the cancer that is trade chat. You recently retired from League. It was a good five year run. Sometimes you have to kind of get away from a game though. I mean, I've taken breaks from WoW. Ooh, Mark Iron is now following me. Thank you for following me. <laughs> You're tired from WoW. The, the Division is awesome. I would love to play the, the Division, but like, first person shooter games like I scream when I play them because I get so into it and I don't like dying so um, I don't know how well I'll do oh uh, <laughs> sure guys don't follow me thank you for following me have I ever fired a gun I have at like elementary school camp um and my dad's like little pistol kind of thing like pew pew into the, like apple juice boxes but that's basically it I don't go hunting or anything. I like animals too much. I feel sad. I don't like killing. That's why I'm a healer. I like healing people. I like the opposite of killing. I'd be a doctor IRL if I wasn't like so bad with blood. You actually really enjoy Rift for a free play MMO is really fun. See, if I try any other like MMO, I just, I just like feel like I'm wasting my time. I'm like. I could be playing WoW right now, so I don't know. I mean, I, I should try it. Kind of expand my... Everything. Life is short. I can call you Jay. Okay, thank you for following me then, Jay. <laughs> Baron's chat's where it used to be. Yeah, I leveled Alliance for like seven years before I tried the Horde, so I never got to experience Baron chat actually. I feel like I'm missing out. Uh, where's my... Oh, here it is. Uh, hey Karma Kittens! Guess what? What? What is up? Killing is the name of the game? No! What a healing! Have life! Webcam isn't blurry. Hopefully with Overwatch you can recapture the, the moment you got with League. I would love to try Overwatch. Nope, haven't got the beta, even though, you know, Overwatch has shared me and Blizzard has shared me as Mercy. Still waiting to play, guys. Anytime. Any time. Any time at all. Running into Stormwind and just laying every scrub in sight. Rude. <laughs> Go heals. Yay. I got Proven Ground Silver achievement finally. 
grinding some legendary ATM. Yeah, if you want to add my battle, uh, I think it's Oshley number sign 1296. I think so. So you can add me. I just do PvP basically. So if you like killing kids, which is what I like to do, really just going ham, healing people, or you know, finally DPSing with my um, Enhancement Shaman because that's like my first DPS class in PvP since goddamn Nom in BC. Last time I was DPSing I was playing a Shaman or a Hunter. Back in my day, Hunter still had mana, so... Got stuck in Bloodborne your retirement. I've heard good things about Bloodborne, but I haven't really ever played it. Um, here, I'm just going to start with one magnet. Cause sometimes I do um, both a magnet sewn into the same piece of fabric, but for this, I don't know quite how they're going to be positioned. So I'm just going to start with one cut out a square piece just a little bit bigger than the magnet here oh yeah I don't know how well you can see that like that kind of thing <laughs> so then um, I'm gonna poke the magnet through right now I'm gonna just poke it through by cutting little slot slits in the fabric I need my smaller little um, clippers. I wonder where those are today. One second. I just don't want to ruin my fabric scissors by cutting the metal on the thingy. Cutting the metal thingy. So descriptive. Tarn Mill World PvP. I missed out on Tarn Mill. Um, that was in South Shore though, right? Because whenever I got like start getting ganked, I would just like cry and log off because I wasn't. I didn't like getting killed. Like I understand I was like on a PvP server, but I didn't really know what that meant um, when I was like just starting out like nine years ago. So I, whenever I'd get ganked, I'd like legit get upset. Like why are they killing me? I'm just a little night elf named Brazili trying to goddamn um level rude. Hopefully Legion is better than Wad. Maybe. There. So here's the first little magnet I have. Here. So it's just like a little magnet. And then I punched it through by cutting little slits in the fabric. Like, why is my camera not focusing? Eh. I kinda like that. And then just put the metal backing on it, and then just put the, um, fold over the little claws so it doesn't move anywhere. Ah. So I'm gonna make a couple more of those actually. And my chat, you guys are, you guys are so talking. I love it. <laughs> um, you just realized your Twitch name isn't the same as your WoW name. It's Kratos. <gasps> Hi, Kratos. How are you? I, am I just making a little pocket for the magnet? Yes. Yes. Does anybody have an unhealthy obsession with goldfish or is it just me? No. Everybody has an unhealthy obsession with goldfish. Who doesn't? Right now I'm just unclumping all my magnets that I had stored. Today I'm working with four magnets. So there's one. 
I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I just did three more times with this piece of black fabric. Goldfish, I love those, okay, those goldfish like little snacky things that like your parents would put in your lunch, those are the best. I love goldfish treats. Actually, my brother bought like a bag um, a couple weeks ago and then he left so like they're just sitting there and then I just like I start eating like all of them they're so good they're so bad for you but god who cares right 4am and you're hungry just screw it eat it eat it all Magnets are awesome. I like attaching little little things into wigs with magnets. Not like big horns. Like horns if I'm attaching horns into a wig, like they're gonna stay in that wig. Like there's no fucking way I'm using magnets to attach a horn. Usually I'm using a hammer to really fold these claws over, but feeling strong today, so your body weight on the table too. You do love your bacon. Who doesn't love bacon? Getting two more squares of this. And if you're new, I'm just using scrap fabric with um, spandex and interfacing on the back. Doesn't have to be spandex and interfacing, of course. It's just like a sturdier fabric, like a linen or um, non-stretch. Anything would do, really. Um, something that's kind of, it's not like shiny or anything. Has a little bit of grip to it. But I'm just um, to punch here I'll, to show you um, to punch this through like I have a piece of fabric uh, and the magnet and I'm just gonna eh, align it kind of like in the middle uh, like that and to punch it through I'm just kind of spreading the fabric over top of the magnet and I'm just cutting where the little claws are poking through. So, uh, the claw, one claw's through there. I can show you. Can you see that? Can you see that? <laughs> so I just put a little notch and then, ta da! They both poke through. And then I have the backing of the magnet here. And just slip that on. Ask if it's a lamb is now following me. <laughs> Thanks for following me. Your name is cool, dude. As the lamb. How'd you come up with that? It's creative. Artemis Cel Celesta. Artemis Celesta is now following me. Thank you for following me, guys. I appreciate it so much. I feel so special right now. <laughs> Hi, by the way. <laughs> oh, any tips um, for someone trying to get into cosplay? Will I have to sell my shoes? How many times will you cry? Um, you cry maybe once or twice a day. Um, you, can, you have to sell all your shoes and then buy like crazy shoes that actually hurt your feet. Um, yeah. And you have to make sure that you don't want to ever have money in your bank account and then oh Shiro Aurelis is now following me too thank you I'm giving pro tips on how to start cosplay right now um, but actually if, if you want to start cosplay just fucking do it just get into it when I got into cosplay it was July 2013 and I was just like um 
the Fox cosplay. Payson is now following me. Thank you for following me, guys. I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I got into cosplay because my friend, she linked me um, a cosplay picture. And she's like, oh my god, this is so cool. And I was like, oh my god, it is so cool. And I didn't know that there was like such thing as cosplay. But as soon as I did, I was just like, eBay, credit card, do it. And I just ordered everything. And I to, the hardest part of starting was picking what character I liked. Because when you find a character that you like, um, you have to make sure that you really want to dedicate, like, especially for a first cosplay, maybe a couple months into doing it. Um, because you're going to be, ooh. ooh, there's a nice little needle in my sock. That's not nice. Um, you have to make sure that you're going to be really dedicated to do it. Because um, there's nothing worse than, like, buying all the materials for our character and then realizing you don't want to do it anymore so make sure you like the character or it's like easy enough that you can do it quickly kind of thing this leona cosplay is going to look amazing it's the whole second row key yeah i, I know it's that just lamb i love it i have to head off to um to bed for work in the morning Good night. I look forward to your next stream. Thank you, Nixie Cosplay. I really appreciate you sticking around and checking me out for a little bit. And I'll have this video, um, it's being archived when, like, as I'm taping it right now. So I'm sure I'll, I'll post something with it. Like a highlight or um, a brief overview of what I'm doing. Even though it's like, you can barely see what I'm doing here. My narration's helping, right? Um, I'm I just this is just like a mini project that I'm doing for Mithril wigs right now. It's not gonna be the whole costume. Um, I'm just doing the wig kind of thing, like the Leona look. Cause I have so many other costumes that I have to do right now. I don't have time to um, actually make a full costume since I have to do Varian and Jaina this year. And I'm also looking for an adult job, so that's a full-time job in itself. And I work at full-time at a cafe, so it's just like, lots of stuff to do! Uh, my, Mercy, my Mercy cosplay is on the next level. Oh, thank you! <laughs> I appreciate that. I have Mercy in the background here. Aww. And I want to make her um, better for SakuraCon that I'm wearing her to next. In a couple weeks. So hopefully Mercy 2.0 will show her cute little face at the end of the month. And I'm going to be doing a cosplay group with a couple babes, so <laughs> I'm so excited for this next convention. Here, Before I start attaching the magnets into the wig, I'm just going to do some minor combing because I don't like working with a messy wig. Do it! No fear! Live to win till you die. Yeah, honestly, don't fear when you're cosplaying. You just do it. Like YOLO. <laughs> like seriously. I know that saying is like can be overused and dumb for some people, but fucking just do it. You just do it. <laughs> do it. Dude, your mercy cosplay was intense. Thank you. Oh man, I have a knot here. Oh, I see. Some you will get knots um, when you sew into wigs because I tried to pull hair through one of my threads that's, that went around. Um, a piece of wig hair and not cooperating with me but we'll figure it out just kind of takes time to wiggle it out I love doing stuff to my cosplay wigs that I have like no fear anymore the only thing I don't want to do is cut a cosplay wig um, especially if it was like really expensive I'm all, all about preserving wigs too. So I don't like cutting hair if I can avoid it. Having long hair all your life teaches you to deal with the problem instead of just cutting it out. Cause yeah, yeah, I get knots sometimes. 
but instead of just being like <laughs> just cutting it all off I have to just like be gentle be calm and calm it out it all works itself out I'm just gonna smooth this part down do it no fear do it lol <laughs> carp dm that was carp dm was like the motto for my high school which is like oh my god so cool but it's true seize the day or die regret in the time you lost i need to find a convention but i do live in a fall like wasteland that'd be cool rage face is now following me <laughs> thank you for following me welcome to my stream i'm so pretty oh my god thank you <laughs> i'm so i just got out of the shower and i'm just like minor makeup i don't do makeup really unless it's like for a convention i'm just lazy person i approach cosplay with the laziest possible attitude that i can find like I used to love like just painting with acrylics, but now I'm just like, if I can spray paint the everything, then I will spray paint it. New Jersey. Oh, are we playing Guess Where? Who? What's going on? Everybody lives in the States. I live in Canada land. In the cold north. That side is good enough. And this side. Yeah, see? There's no more not. Yes! Damn those Mithra wig, soft wig fibers. <laughs> Having a softer wig definitely helps um, de unnodding it. Yesterday I like completely took out um, Mercy's wig, like that one. And it's a pigtail wig, so the wefts are like all sewn like this way instead of backwards. So it was really, really hard to bring all the hair backwards and also like comb it out because it was just like wrecked from wearing it at BlizzCon and the flight home. Oh man. So like literally ev like all day yesterday, I spent um, combing it out and reponytailing it. I was combing out my wig and my friend was helping me and she said she had an idea came back with scissors and cut out a chunk oh <laughs> no work it out work it out <laughs> don't do that especially when it's like a really expensive wig and you're just like I'm never gonna cut you <laughs> like cutting bangs on a wig it's just like ugh, terrifying I didn't even realize you didn't have makeup I, well, I have some makeup <laughs> I have like eyeliner see just enough to make me look like decent for streaming. I'm just naturally pretty. Aww. <laughs> Thanks. If you live in the desert, Canada must be nice. Ca Canada is nice. Um, we didn't get any snow this year, which is like the complete opposite of what you guys got or what people got on the East Coast. Canada gave us Stefan Ammo and Ryan, Ryan Reynolds and Justin Bieber. Justin! <laughs> Baby, baby, baby. I love Justin Bieber. It's funny. <laughs> okay. Um, just so I don't get caught up. Okay. So it's combed out. And for the new people here, I'll show you the inside of the wig. So this is what I was working on for like the whole hour that I've been streaming. Um, it takes a while, okay? God. Um, I sewed in these black pieces onto the underside of the wig, which are going to be at, which are going to act as, um, stability points for the magnets that I'm now going to sew into the wig. Um, so do I want to sew the magnets in or do I want to add magnets onto the warbler? I'll sew them in first. This is the tricky part, trying to position it to make it look nice. I mean, since you're sewing it in, you can always like painstakingly rip it out if it doesn't quite look good, but that's always annoying. And I get mad when stuff doesn't work out. You'll see my rage faces on stream. 
Ew, take him back. You shared Justin's first name. Oh, shit. Lucky. Canada got lucky. Bieber wants to move to the UK. Well, yeah. I mean, it's fun to live other places, right? Why oh, have a little bomb around here? God, there it is. Take him, UK. We'll pay for shipping. Hi, Sindrin. How are you today? There you go. So, here is my wig. It's not quite center on here. Here. But my two pieces, I can feel my two pieces of fabric are just right here. Um, I'm going to do this side first, I think. I'm get all my scissors out of the way. They're tripping and freaking me out here. I would actually die if I cut this wig on accident. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do first is take my handy dandy bunch of bobby pins here that I got from Mithril Wigs. They're going to be putting these on their website soon too. Um, and I'm just going to see where I'm going to place my first magnet, which is going to be right here on that kind of like little lace part. Um, right, th th that's positioned right above your ears there. I'm going to part the hair a little bit. And try to need my comb to kind of brush this out. Gently, <laughs> gently brushing it out. It gets kind of knotted as you're playing with the wig a lot. But that's no matter. Always brush it out later. Just going to move some hair out of the way. Um, take my hair clip and just pin the excess hair out of the way so I, I have exposed where I'm going to be sewing it into the wig. Might be on and off chat trying to finish the paper. Dude, finish your freaking paper! <laughs> School comes first. You can always watch this after too because it's being saved by Twitch. And I'll post highlights onto it. Onto my page or something. Here, so my first magnet's gonna go right there on the edge. So I'm just gonna hand sew that in wherever my needle went. My black thread. You might have missed on your phone. Um, where did I find the clawed magnets? I just found them on Amazon. Um, I just found the cheapest, best deal for like a bulk pair of a 25 magnets or something. They're nothing, I don't think they're anything special, honestly. They're just magnets. And I need to buy more of them too. Since they work really well. I think they're rare earth. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I'm an impulse buyer, but I'm pretty, pretty careful with what I impulse buy. Doing the exact same thing, just making a little thread. Double, it's like double two thread. That's, that's what people do, right? Just loop thread. It's like, ugh. Do you have your needle in the end? player from my old college asked me to wield him a sword or weld you him a sword that's badass can't take it to conventions but damn you look cool I wish I could make real props maybe one day one day when I don't live with my parents here yeah, that should work we're sewing them right on the edge here because Leona's little head things they look like they're like on her ears, but we're gonna do our best to make them look kind of on her ears by sewing them hanging down kind of thing. 
but you must show your support. Oh, thanks. I appreciate you showing support. What have I done? Getting all this hair out of the way. You guys can see that, right? No, you can't see that at all. The thought that counts? Ugh, whatever. You'll probably be able to see it better next on the next side. I just don't want to screw up. But right now, I just positioned where the magnet's gonna sit. And now I'm just doing the exact same thing. And hand sewing it through the wig cap and through my black reinforcement fabric on the back and going away going quite swell if I say so myself I'm excited for this cannot wait to be Leona she's so goddamn pretty I have an Iron Man welding mask that's sweet that's really cool. Who are you guys um, on? Which team were you guys on? Team Captain America or Team Iron Man for Civil War? I don't know what team I'm on. I'm just sad Thor isn't in the picture. Where is he? I never quite know with Marvel. You are from America, right? No, I'm from Canada. West Coast boy. Vancouver boy. That's why I live with my parents, because I can't afford shit. No one, can, no one can afford shit around here. Housing is so expensive. Ow. A burnt down house in Vancouver sold for two million dollars the other day. Two million dollars in Vancouver! A burnt down house! Like, it literally was on smoke a couple weeks ago, and now it's sold for two million Canadian dollars. I'm from the land of syrup and round bacon. Hey, I still like that American bacon. Bacon, bacon. Not ham. Bacon is bacon and ham is ham. Poshley is team Wolverine. <laughs> yeah. I'm not really... I don't follow those movies a whole lot. I watch them and I think they're really good. I love that Age of Ultron. Right now I'm just hand sewing around the magnet. I have so much thread here, I'm just, I might go around a second time just to make it super duper enforced. Since this is, probably, this is the main um, magnet, I think that's gonna be holding onto the wig here because um, this one's attached to lace. So whenever you're sewing through um, the lace of a wig as well, it makes it, um, you get lots of support out of that. This is a good spot. <laughs> Giving no bother. Just going around the magnet. Hi, Dark Ray. Kobe QQ is now following me. Thank you for following me. Hope you're learning stuff. Learning all my secrets. Team Captain, Team Spider-Man? Yes, yeah, Spider-Man. That's cool. I enjoy how they brought him into the picture. Dude, Ontario's getting terrible. With what? Oh, with um house houses and shit. Yeah, why is why is living so expensive? No. I, like, real talk, I never want to move out of my parents' house. I love it so much. They gave me my own crafting room for Christmas. <gasps> I have, like, my computer here. They give me food. I have a bed. What else could I ask for, honestly? What am I going to do? Move out to Vancouver? Pay rent? Pay all my bills? The electricity? Hydro? Food? Come hold to a 
come home to a cold, catless house. Holy shit. That's like, sounds like the opposite of what I want. And I just graduated from university, so I'm not a complete bum, if that's what you're thinking. I just finished all my courses in December, and I convocate in June. My bachelor in computer information systems, boy. Thread so small, so small. Do Thor, do a Thor cosplay. I would love to be, do a Thor cosplay. I use my own hair because my hair is kind of like, I don't know, it's, it's kind of wet right now, but it's like kind of blonde. I need a haircut. The hair is getting a little scraggly. There, so there's one magnet. One Magnus in the wig. Do the exact same thing on the other side. Yes, yeah, just double check what I did. Cover it up like nothing ever happened. Um. I'm actually gonna keep this separated so I can see what I did. I seem like a nice person. Oh, joke's on you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I am a nice person. I'm full of dank memes and cosplay knowledge. Or wannabe cosplay knowledge. Economy is going to shit. Places are getting smaller. Prices are going up. Yeah. Disappointing. Disappointing. Zabri is now following me. Thank you for following me. Don't worry, Ashley Lol. Your brother will save you from Canada and um, move. You go to America. We're going to America. Yeah. Just bank on my brother to make it big. He will. I am confident in him. He's too good not to. He was actually just playing with the majors, um, the big guys back down in um, spring training. Um, doing their like spring training games. And like in like the big ass stadiums. Cause my brother plays for the Seattle Mariners. He's in a farm team. <laughs> um, but he got invited to play with the, in the big, um, big boy game. And like tons of people were watching too. And he hit a home run. He hit a home run off like major league pictures. I'm so proud of him. Good boy. Wait, I'm a welder. Um, I can move anywhere. Yeah. Just like get a freaking job in the uh, movie industry and you're golden. Make real real props. I do live in Vancouver, yeah. Prices are not good. So I'm going to do the exact same thing again since I got all the hair out of the way on the other side. And... Add in the second magnet. After this, I'm going to test... Um, I'm going to put the wig on won't look good because I'm like I'm just testing it so um, don't expect like selfie material putting the wig on okay but I'm just gonna see how um, the magnets are sitting on my head just to double check before I start putting um, a magnet attaching it to my warbler headdress using warbler I can show you how I did that I used to sing the Pokemon theme song on Vent all the time. Oh my god! You're exposing me! Yeah, I used to sing Pokemon. Damn, that was a 
freaking loser. Uh, <laughs> and now I can sing it on stream. It was hilarious. Fuck. Yeah, totally. So hilarious. Holy. Don't believe her. Ashley Lol is evil. What evil? See? How am I evil? It was a highlight of every raid. Yeah, I bet. Because I'm just so freaking funny. My favorite in the raid was PW freaking B. <laughs> Whenever we'd like. Oh my god. Staff and PWB just like crack me up. I miss our old guild so much. It definitely took the whole family environment for granted. We were so amazing. Can't see. I wonder if you can see. A little better. Female Thor, your hair matches hers? I like to think so. My hair is kind of goldy in the sun, so I've never really dyed it um, around like the ombre kind of got going on right now. But don't judge my hair, I haven't combed it. I never comb it. It's actually, actually a rare sight that's not in a ponytail right now. Because I always wear it in a ponytail because it's so annoying. But at least my headset helps keep it back. And you know, gotta look pretty on stream. God, look pretty. Who did he hit, hit a home run against? Um, I don't know, actually. I don't remember. I just heard, oh, cool, Tyler hit a home run. Good. That's his job. Power hitter, boy. Let's all sing the Pokemon theme song together. Oh, damn it. Kratos, you're embarrassing me. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know how I sound on stream, because I don't want to sound like so bad. Everybody's gonna fucking unfollow me if I sing like a shit box. <laughs> Screw this girl. I hope Overwatch gets a guild system. I don't know. Um, doesn't really seem like a guildy kind of requiring game. Like, um, Heroes of the Storm doesn't really have guilds. Not really an MMO kind of game. An RPG game. We unfollow if you don't sing. God damn it! No! No, I don't like this! No! Why are you doing this to me? I want to be the very best. <laughs> like no one ever was. I just, I have like no problem singing, honestly. I used to do the, I used to do the morning announcements at my, at my high school. I'd fucking like sing the pajama day song that I made up on the announcements. No one liked me. <laughs> but I still fucking did it because everybody can just like suck it. I volunteer to do the morning announcements and bring everybody crucial daily news. I'm gonna goddamn sing if I damn well please! I think this is more than enough thread, so I'm just gonna turn it around and cut this off. And if you guys are curious on what kind of wig I'm working with, this is the Vanessa style from Mithril Wigs. And I like Mithril Wigs because they are also from Vancouver. So they're local. I love supporting local companies. It made me super happy to see a wig company starting up here. Because um, there's like a bunch of American, a couple American brands that have kind of monopolized the um, cosplay community for quality wigs around here. But Mithril Wigs is good too. Please buy from them. Oh 
the wigs are very nice. There. Oh, my garbage. Right behind me. I did a zombie realistic um, zombie costume for Halloween with like a latex took you four hours and you forgot to mess up your hair. You ended up looking like an undead Tony Hawk. Oh god. Hi, Overlord. What's my name? My name is Ashley. Say my name, say my name. So it's like Ashley, basically. So just call me Ashley. So I am going to put on the wig and see what. Justin Timberlake singing? <laughs> no! <laughs> so I'm just gonna like zone out for a second and see where um, I'm gonna be attaching the magnet on the warbler now. using those giant eyebrows <laughs> um like making night elf eyebrows or my like giant eyebrows
Uh, one thing I do to make sure that um, my wig is, well, my thing is going to be totally in the right place that I want it to be, I, I place it on my head and then I kind of um, take it off my head and make sure and remember where I um, liked that position by doing a little mark. And then I repeat, repeat the process a couple times because I don't want to make a mistake because ripping Warbler off of Warbler, um, it won't, sometimes it won't really be very nice at the end. So I just double make sure. So I like place it, mark, place it again, mark, and if I want to do it more times than I do. So I'm just going to make sure I definitely am sure that I'm replacing it right there. Okay, so, voila. yep, that's the position I want. So I'm gonna do the warbler part now. Let me put the wig back on the stand. Since I know where I want the first magnet to go. Um, I have friends who cosplay, so like behind the scenes stuff. Yeah, this is. <laughs> It's neat, this is my first creative stream, so welcome. All 28 of you, holy yes. <laughs> welcome to my first creative stream. And this is basically what I've done for a couple cosplays now, so I'm pretty confident in um, what to do. It's just obviously a little bit different for every cosplay. I never know if the same technique's gonna work out, but I hope this time it's gonna work out. YOLO. <laughs> Those um, used for cosplay, oh, like big like, night elf ones. Yeah, I'm not gonna use them for this one. <laughs> I think I can get away with just like my normal eyebrows for this cosplay here. I feel like if I was a fierce warrior on the battlefield, those things would be totally would totally bother you. Well, you're not uh, Leona of the Solari, right? Because they're like totally practical for battle, right? Gotta look good. Gotta look good when you're smiting moon peasants who are like your sister or something. Ashley, please put that down. You can poke somebody with it. You can! They're like little weapons. Choo. How goes the wig work? Wig work is good. It's shaping up quite nicely. Um, so here, now I'm gonna start doing the warbler. How will I make it slanted? What do you mean? Oh, hi Ruby787, thanks for following me. How do I make it like um, slanted a certain way? You should do more of these streams because it's always floored me how people do this stuff. I will do more of these streams, I would love to. Just right now, um, with my other cosplay stuff, I'm doing sewing and I just like, I'm not good at sewing so I would be confident in showing you guys that. But when I do more war warbler stuff, then yeah, it's like fun. Totally fun. I mean, I can't really sing when I'm doing this kind of stuff. So I love singing. But it's fun. It's fun. Getting some stuff out of the way. I'm actually going to move the wig onto the table because I do not want to get it. Um, ravaged by the heat or anything. Moving unnecessary stuff off of my work area because working with a heat gun 
You don't want to burn anything or make anything hot when you touch it again. I would imagine the process would be different for each cosplay. Yeah, diff it's a little different. I mean, you carry the same techniques um, between cosplays, but um, every time you do it, you learn more stuff, and it's a little different because um, it's a different design, of course. So here, I'm going to take the two other ends of the magnet. So this is the skinny end that I'm putting into the... Uh, attaching onto the weapons, the head weapons. <laughs> and just like I did with the fabric, I'm going to cut um, a little piece bigger than the magnet. Oh, I'm going to cut a little bigger, I think, than I usually would. Just scrap warbler, so who cares. Sing the Pokemon theme? It has to be that. No, I don't want it. If it, you're gonna sing, it has to be the Pokemon. <laughs> oh my god. Oh dear. Damn it, Kratos! What have you done? I'm like, cheeks are getting too red. Stop it. That your PC things on the picture just landed towards her chin. Yeah, well, they're, they're just gonna sit how they're gonna sit. Like, I can't really um, control it as well as the picture because I'm just attaching it um, via magnets. I don't know what it's going to look like, it's just going to somehow work out. That notification for the fall, for the friggin, um, or for the following thing is freaking cute. Aw, thanks. I like it too. I like the Pikachu, it's just like, ah, going ham, running. If they were daggers, that'd be cool. Hi, Suprema's Vossler. Ashley. That's me. Your PC thing, perfect. I hope this isn't too loud in the stream. Here, heating up the regular warbla. I'm using regular warbla instead of the black warbla, even though my ear PC things are <laughs> um, black, because the regular warbla has better adhesive properties, and that's kind of important when you're doing um, sticky business. Doing the exact same thing, except the time you don't really have to cut. You can just, boo. Uh, you can just slide the warbler down. Sick Benny is now following me. Thank you so much for following me. And you're gonna have to work a little bit faster um, with the warbler than if, when you're working with the fabric, because the fabric isn't gonna cool down. So I'm putting um, little back piece onto the um, magnet here. here. That's the front end. That's the back end, and then we're just gonna... It's cooling down, but what the hell, I'll just burn myself. All for the sake of showing you what's up. She transforms into a tomato. Ugh. I'm just gonna heat this up. Um, you're not really supposed to put heat on magnets, because that kind of helps it lose its magnetic um, properties. And magnets get fucking hot, because they're metal. So we don't want to touch a uh, magnet after you've just blown a bunch of heat onto it. But we're just going to do it anyways, because why not? And I know where the position's going to be. So I'm taking headdress. Where I heated up both this one and I heated up both here. The headdress thing, because you want to activate the adhesive properties on both ends of the warbler to get a very... Um, to get it sticky, basically. And just place it on, and put it on, place it down, make sure you're not burning yourself. It's gonna lift up, it's gonna be a little bit up off of the um, back here. Well, that's because there's metal being stuck. Um, there's metal behind the magnet too. So I'm just gonna press it down 
there's some I have to cut off. Which is fine, I cut it bigger than it was supposed to anyways. Just pressing it down while it's still hot. Shit's not gonna go anywhere, it's perfect. Ah, I love Warbler. Would I ever consider doing Devil Mercy or Imp Mercy? Yeah, <laughs> I would love to, oh my god. I don't have time right now, but maybe in the future. If, she had, if Leona actually had daggers that she could pull off and use, just, poof, daggers. That'd be some sweet, yeah. Um, favorite Pokemon? I like Lugia, like that legendary one. I don't know, there's a lot of Pokemon I like. Rayquaza is badass too. Here, so your PC thing on the front. So you didn't change anything on the front, but on the back, we now have a magnet. Yay! <sighs> so that's awesome. That's on there good. It's a little warm right now, but it'll be fine. We can do the exact same thing on the other side now. You don't hammer magnets. I used to. You can hardly hear the blower. Good. Good. They look more like Kune without a handle. Um, Odoreg wonders if Warble would be useful for Betamax. What's that? Heat is fine, just don't super heat. Yeah, definitely. I know, I know some heat's fine, like, I've used a little too much heat on one magnet and it was still fine. Just not like super hot and super long, and that's not good. Don't want to risk it. Here, so I just heated up the Warbler, and I did the same that the other time. Here, I'm just gonna push these down. Push the hot Warbler down on top of the increasingly hot metal. Don't burn yourself. But please be advised you are working with heat <laughs> and a uh, conductive. Conduct. I don't know. Some some material that gets freaking hot when you heat it up. So and just fold. Put the metal thing on the back of the D ring. Fold the clasps over. Have another little magnet on Warbla. I'm up to 36 viewers. Hey, it's cool! And just like we did on the other side, I basically know exactly where to put the other magnet. My hair. Yeah. My uncombed, wet <laughs> hair. I started the stream. Before I pressed start streaming, I was like, like, un unwetting. Like, it was like my hair was like dripping. And a cloth, I was just like dab, dab, dab. I don't think my uh, heat gun's very loud because I'm not using it on the highest setting right now. Let's double check if it's both the right. I mean, if it's a little off, whatever. Whatever. But I don't think it's off. Ow. Push that thing down. Don't burn yourself. Good. Cut away the excess warbla. Wow, it's still kind of hot. Pressing the warbla down so it's not really seen on the other side, even though it doesn't really matter because we're basically just going to paint everything gold after anyways. I didn't paint this before I did the attachments because I knew I was going to use Warbla and um, priming requires glue and paint requires paint so no point. I do all my attachments before my paint job anyway. Double check that that's even. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Hopefully. I wonder if you can see that on your side. Yeah, that looks pretty even. Yay! <laughs> Betamax a big plushy guy? 
I have never seen that movie, actually. You tend to avoid magnets, but you work IT. I work IT, too! <laughs> Just like, yeah. Uh, Rinzel's now following me. Thank you for following me. I appreciate it. Yeah, magnets around a computer ain't good, but magnets for a cosplay. Freaking good. Super hot, super long, giggity. Don't do that to my words! Stop it! Some weird science bullshit. You're a Zapdos guy, Ace of Speeds. Here. I'm gonna try on the wig with these things in. One second. It's a delay, but um, um, I don't think it's too bad. It's like 10 seconds, but I'm just reading from the top down, so sometimes I'll read it like a minute or something after it actually happens. No, not too much delay. Sorry, Kratos. I thought you worked tables for now. I do, but I used to work IT, and my degree is in information technology, so... So you can obviously see the reason we're doing two magnets, right? Because if we did, if we just did one, then these could easily slip around wherever we want. But um, no matter, because I just put this on to see if they're even and to just see where we are. Because it's exciting. We're like halfway there. Because I have to do another magnet each on both sides, and then add this little piece in the middle. And then synchronization will be almost complete. I'm gonna see um, where I'm gonna be placing the next magnet. Probably. I don't know. 
we'll just see where I'm placing the next magnet. I'm gonna be um, just feeling it out for the warbler and in the wig as well. Gotta go, Kratos. Wait, have a good night. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by. Nice to um, talk to you again, too. Hope you enjoyed my little stream. <laughs> Yay, go, Ashley, go. Woot, good job. Yay, Thank you. Now to finalize it. Yeah, physics is a bitch. Damn that weight. Um, I'm gonna put the magnets on the warble magnets on first before I do more sewing. I think. I'll do the sewing first. You got distracted by how ugly I am, that your water almost boiled over. No noodles yet. I had noodles for like the first time in like 
since Nom yesterday night. It was so amazing. I'm gonna sew the magnet in to the wig before I um, attach the next Warbler um, magnet because it's easier to adjust um, the Warbler before I do anything. I don't know. That's just how I feel more comfortable doing it. So, do the exact same thing, part the hair, and see where the magnet's gonna go. So I'm exposing this first magnet here. You should do an April O'Neil costume. Why? Why? Is that from Ghostbusters? Rave dance party! Ashley, if you can go anywhere um, I want for a week, where would I go and why? Um, that's a good question. Are we talking about like fictional or like real life? Um, for real life, I would love to go to like Europe again. I went to France um, in grade 10. I mean, it was just like an educational tour, and it was like, even though it was like beautiful, we went to like real life castles and cathedrals and um, all over France for in 10 days, constantly on the move, seeing new things. Gorgeous countryside, oh my god. Um, I'd love to go back to Europe. Yeah, England sounds awesome. I would like, I love like Italy. <laughs> um, any like anywhere in the world that has like a completely different culture, it like completely fascinates me. Like, um, I know it's like kind of a sketchy part of the world, but I love like Syrian culture and um, like Iraq, Iran. Just like I don't know, things like just interest me, and I'll just go to them via Google Maps or some shit. Like since I can't afford it, and I don't really want to go into a war zone. We have a lot of family in Italy. Sounds like a beautiful place to go. My co-worker is going there um, in a month and I'm just so, so jealous. I'm gonna have to cover so many new shifts. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. I'm already covering all the shifts. Finding. Okay. Uh, Velvet Rose Creations is now following me. Thank you so much for following me. I appreciate it. I'm just trying to find where I'm going to be putting this next magnet. Think. Like around the border, actually, between um, the fabric I sewn in and the wig cap. So it's not really like a. Not the best place to put it, but that's as good as it's gonna get if I'm if I wanna place this headdress where I want it to be. Um Dawn Jessica, how do you say her name? The Dawn is now following me. Thank you for following me. Appreciate it. Iran is a safe country to travel to. Yeah, my boss is from Iran. Sounds gorgeous when he explains it to me, or uh, describes it. At some point, I want to go to that Da Vinci Code trip. England, Scotland, France, Rome, IRL. That sounds awesome. I love traveling. I just don't have the money to do it. And it is like, it's a far away flight. Where's my thread? It fell. Ugh. Is Canada worth a visit? Oh yeah. It's absolutely gorgeous in Vancouver. There's so much to do here. It's a tourist city for sure. What kind of magnets am I using? Um, just little things I got off of Amazon. It looked like that. 
they look like magnets basically they're nothing special <coughs> I think they're rare earth magnets I think pretty sure Well, Ashley, much cosplay, such wow. We're Schmang! Schmang is probably in the garage eating a bone right now. Little rascal. Ooh, one second. You can find those in, in the purse crafting section, um, like Joann's. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, you can definitely find them at like Joann's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby. Um, there's not much selection here in Canada. Like, if I want to buy something at Michael's, I have to like fucking sell my left arm to do that. So, <laughs> I just buy online as much as I can. Um, but you can find them everywhere online, especially if you want to buy in bulk. If you want to buy like more than like four. Magnets definitely buy online. You get them for a lot cheaper than you can find in stores. Wow, Tyler is so rude. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Shut the fuck up. Victoria is much better than Canada. Oh, sorry, Victoria is much better than Vancouver. Um, uh, no, Victoria is not better than Vancouver. Victoria is like wannabe Vancouver. If you want to retire at the simple age of 65, then you can go to Victoria. But if you want to like have a good time and experience like nightlife in Vancouver, go to Vancouver. It's not Tyler, it's Ashton, sure. Sure. Thanks, Ashton. You hope to see me at games, Gamecom someday? Oh, I'd love to go there. That sounds like so much fun. But nope. I need to actually get a real job first. Um. So uh, right now I'm attempting to um, position my next second magnet. And the second magnet... Um, it's not so much important for like structure like and holding up my um, armor but it is important to kind of adjust how it's going to be sitting on my head right now I'm just um I'm playing with where I'm going to be positioning it I think I know where I want to put it um like right on the edge here I'm just adjusting it here I mean, if I mess up, I can always un unsew it <laughs> from the wig, but that's just a lot of extra work. I don't want to have to do that. So, I'm trying to attempt to position it as accurately as I can. Lots of concentration. I think I got it. Wish me luck. Ow. God. Poke myself with a needle. If you want to be bored, move out to Abbotsford. <laughs> Lil. <laughs> yeah. I went, I've been... I spent a lot of time in Abbotsford. Um, just by having to go to like university like every day. But since I don't have to do that anymore, no reason to go out there. But you know what? At least Abbotsford has like um, a movie theater, a Fabricana... Um, ow. Oh. Like, some amenities that we don't really have in my town. It's kind of boring. Because I live in Vancouver, but it's like a suburb of Vancouver. So there's not a whole lot around me. If I want to do anything, I have to, like, drive a half an hour to anywhere. But whatever. I have a car. You're in Vancouver too, Stoofers? Cool. Local boys... 
I'm in Vancouver. Do I know Severa cosplay? Yeah. Um, you know her Malzahar picture of like, she's like this and has like her, her, her cool eyes and also another Lucy picture. I've taken her photo a couple times because I also go by Oshley Photography. Do you ever go to cons in the US? Yeah, actually I am getting ready to go to um, Sakura Con in Seattle. And that is next next weekend, March 25, 26, 27. And I am so excited. <laughs> I cannot wait to see my Portland friends again. I'm gonna be in a cosplay um, Overwatch group with my babes, um, Serena cosplay and um, Blood Raven cosplay too. We're doing Kill a Kill. It's like an anime and also Overwatch. So um, yesterday I was like pimping out Mercy's little wig there, added in the black the back black part, and completely redid her hairstyle. And probably after this, I will um, fix her bangs and her ponytail as well a little bit more. I just want to make her better. I want to be the best Mercy ever. Just kidding. I want to be the best Mercy I can be. Because I, I rushed her for BlizzCon, unfortunately. So there are a couple things that I didn't quite get to attend to. You gotta, if you wanna see snow, don't come to Vancouver. We didn't get any snow this year. It was, I was really disappointed, honestly. I love driving down the sketchy hill in my neighborhood. Half dying. I think that's. I think I got that positioned, just like that. We'll see. Wouldn't it um. Wouldn't it fit best just like ten centimeters above the circle? What do you mean? Um, the three three, village three. <laughs> um. The Vil Angel is now following me. Thank you for following me. I appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying the stream. And if you're a cosplayer, you are stealing all my secrets that I'm giving out. So I went a couple times around this magnet and now I'm just gonna knot it in there. And hopefully this fits. I'm, I might try it on. I might try the wig on again. At this point in the progress, it's like a lot of trying on, because you want to make sure that it's like positioned properly on your, on your face. Because Leona's like um, ear thingies, the armor is kind of like positioned um, parallel to her chin, her chin point. I don't know. So we'll see. We'll see. I'll try it on. Just a second here, just cut off these little strings. Ashley Photography, of course that's me. You should have known. Yeah. I'm a giant loser because I cosplay and I take photos of cosplayers. I have amazing hair. Oh, thank you.
Um, all I really need from the second magnet is to have like a second anchor. So it doesn't really matter where I put it, but I don't want to put it like anywhere farther away. Like I, I don't want to put it like on the actual, um, I don't know, that <laughs> one of these dagger things. Cause then that would um, alter the way it kind of sat on my head as well. So I just want it to be right beside, um, right beside the other magnet. So it's not like going like this. That's basically just the reason for the second magnet. And if this was heavier, like if this was heavier, it's pretty light. Um, I could always do like a third magnet or whatever, but um, just two magnets suffice. Just one to hold it into the wig more and another just for like another anchor point. I'm gonna position it one more time to double check that I like where it's sitting. Avish Avatar Shades is now following me. Thank you so much for following me. Pikachu's getting cardio today. Wow, Ashley Sama, Kawaii Desuni. Jesus, calm down. Because my positioning was different two different times, so one time it was like there, the second time it was like another circle. I'm gonna do it one more time and uh, see what happens. Just to double check that I have the right fit.
Is my wig a new headset? Yes. It's like, um... Yes, it is my new headset. <laughs> I don't have a witty comeback to that. This is a new headset, though. I just got this. Um, so we have the position of the second magnet. It's like X marks the spot, basically. Because the second and third try were the right try. So it always helps to do a couple tries, just in case. And at least with wigs, too, there's like a little give because it's like wigs, um, wig caps will stretch and shrink a little bit. So, I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, perfect, but it helps um, if you want like the best fit you possibly can. So I always try it a couple times. Ashley, you can be the very best Mercy both in cosplay and in game like no one ever was. Ha! Huh, to heal them is my real test. <laughs> to power boost them is my cause. I will travel across the maps. Healing far and wide. To alter them is my real test. Keeping them all alive is my cause. Mercy Mon! Gotta catch them all. Okay. Um, never again. <laughs> Little freestyle for you guys there. Here, so I'm moving all the flammable stuff out of the way here. I can't wait to, I can't wait to play Overwatch. Yeah, me neither. <sighs> it comes out next month or something. Um, before I do the Warbla Pokemon now. No, I did! That was Pokemon! It was just my own <laughs> little take on Pokemon. Um, I'm gonna just see if these are even on both sides now. That should be okay. They're pretty much even. Um, so I'm gonna push some Warbla or magnets through Warbla now. Do the exact same thing I did for the first magnet. I played a BlizzCon, it was amazing. I've not been blessed with beta. Me neither. Oh well. I guess you can't be Mercy in game and in real life, right? I think it, everybody just wants to like play it because they don't have it. Like if you had beta, then it's just like, okay, cool, whatever, Overwatch is whatever. But like, it's just, I don't know. Overwatch is playing hard to get, so we, it, we want it more. Ow. Here, so for new people, here, piece of Warbler is on top of my magnet and I'm pushing the little teeth through the magnet. So magnets on that side, working a little fast, so the magnet is kind of warm, or the warble is kind of warm when you're working with it. And here's this part that we just did, and little back clasp on the magnet. Boom. Just goes on top, like a regular magnet. Nothing special I'm doing. I guess the old ladies at the fabric store couldn't really tell you um, how to push a magnet through Warbler. So that's why I'm useful. There, so one. Yay! Magnet on this side, and that's the clasp part on that side. Am I going to go see the Warcraft movie? Frell, yes, I'm going to go see the Warcraft movie. So excited. I cannot wait, honestly. It's gonna be amazing. I've played, um, you've played closed beta on Overwatch and there's still a lot of work to do. I feel like they should wait the release. Oh, I know they're working really, really hard on it. So I mean, every new game has kind of a couple of bugs, but we'll see. It'll still be fun. I want to play Overwatch as Mercy, <laughs> um, like play Mercy as Mercy. 
and kind of like stream myself being like a complete fucking loser in cosplay playing the same character I'm cosplaying. That's cool, right? <laughs> That's kind of cool. You want to go to the Netherlands? Yeah, who doesn't want to go to the Netherlands? All those Northern European countries are super interesting. I didn't I didn't pre-order Overwatch. Not yet. They should just give me Overwatch. I've been a loyal customer for like nine years. Come on. Preparing here for the second magnet. Playing, uh, Mercy playing Mercy sounds meta. <laughs> meta? Yeah. So meta. I will do it. Mark my words. Ow! <laughs> All right, well, we know the warble's hot when it fucking burns you. Make sure my second magnet's going right on the spot that I want it to. Looks about right. Try not to touch the magnet because it's actually an inferno right now. Goodness me. Using my long nails to kind of push it down. That should work. Ow. Shit we do for cosplay. Burn ourselves. Cut ourselves. Squishing the excess warbler down. This, this attachment is not going anywhere. Have I made a mistake? Well, that's it. I'm not redoing it. <laughs> nope. Have I? came this far they should give you overwatch for being a badass mercy cosplayer yeah they should huh oh well blizzard knows that I'll come, I'll come crawling back to them ask blizzard to share out me playing mercy as mercy I should Look what I'm doing for you! There. That's the second magnet there. Look, now it looks like a scared person. Two eyes and the mouth. Ah! <sighs> That's a little bit terrifying, actually. I'm not gonna do that anymore. But can't unsee! I'll do that for the second one. I go to sleep at 5 a.m. me hours. Yeah, I always go to sleep at 5 a.m. Who doesn't? That's when all the cool kids go to bed. I'm just gonna double check this attachment's alright. the hair away from the magnets because that's kind of important. One snaps. Two snaps. Cool. So, hey, it's in the wig now. Hopefully that looks good on me, but that's the way it is now. Bye. Thank you for coming. Thank you for following me too. How do you say your name, by the way? Dawn Chexer. I'm just gonna call you the Dawn, if that's okay. The Dawn. Um, I'm gonna double check that I put Magnus on the other side too. Yeah. There. I did not put any Magnus on this side, okay. Um, RG Zerky is now following me. Thank you for following me. I appreciate it. Welcome to my first creative stream that I'm doing with my mithril wig here. 
to be Valkyrie Le or not Valkyrie, classic skin Leona from League of Legends. Shipser is now following me too. Thank you. Thanks for following me. I appreciate it, you guys. I really do. I get so happy when people follow me. It makes my fucking life. Thank you. It's 5 a.m. where you live? My god. Go to bed, children. I'm gonna have to. Forgot to put the second magnet in the other side, so we gotta do that right now. Before we do the Warbler magnet. So, same technique. I spy a little Jane in progress. progress? Yeah! Um. That's like the extent of what I have for Jaina right now. Yay, a half jacket. And the sleeves are just chilling there. It's hard. I don't wanna sew. It's like, nah. I wanna be Jaina, but I don't wanna have to sew Jaina. It's a lot of sewing. I have her armor in the other room that I have to paint. Maybe I'll do a creative stream for that too. I'll just paint her armor. This is so much fun. It's all silver right now, but I still have to do the gold and purple. And weathering, too. Doing the same techniques here. Moving the hair out of the way so I can see where I'm going to be sewing the next second magnet. And I'm actually going to double check what I did on the other side as well, because I want them to be even. So just twisting the hair out of the way, because the hair isn't the matter right now. How often will I stream? Um, I usually, this week I kind of took a, a week off, because I was um, really busy with work. But I usually stream a couple times a week at 10 p.m. at night. Like right now I'm streaming earlier, because it's a creative stream. Um, I just wanted to like do it when I was still like, I still have the balls to kind of do it. Cause I was like freaking out. Cause I'm like, oh my god, how am I gonna do cosplay on stream? Never done this before. I'm way so secretive with my cosplay. Um, but I'll definitely do more creative streams. This is so much fun. I'm gonna head off. All right. Thank you for stopping by, Outer Egg. Outer Egg. Nice seeing you again too. I feel great about the follower thing too. <laughs> yeah, I like the little Pikachu. It's so fun. I like following people on stream too if they have like a cute little thing that dances when you follow them. I love when people follow me. Pikachu gets cardio because Pikachu is getting fat. WoW is still good and still hard, you just have to actually need to get to the higher difficulties. Yeah, you have to get to that get to that max level in WoW to actually do anything in WoW. I mean, you can do like leveling battlegrounds, but that's not where like the most intense stuff happens. That level 100 though. go to bed but you and other streamers are still online yeah never leave me never leave me so much to see I noticed that like a lot of people like don't watch you at like 10 at night but I've, I've gotten better or more um, viewers I guess when I stream later at, like at 2 a.m. than what I do when I'm starting at like um, 9 or 10 o'clock which is like it's great I don't mind playing games until like the wee hours of the morning but it's also kind of bad because I have a really bad sleep schedule now because for work I wake up for a 12 o'clock um, noon shift and then I work until like 8 or 9 o'clock and it's just like well there goes my day so I might as well just not sleep so I'm not going to wake up until 
my 12 o'clock start time. There's just no point. I'm going to not do anything all day anyways. Right, repositioning. When you're positioning your magnets and making sure it's on is equal on both sides, um, you want to make sure that the wig head is also kind of equal. Because, uh, or like equal position on both sides because you don't want to like mess up. Because, I mean, when you're hand sewing this into the wig, so it's not a big deal. A little magnet for the new people. Little magnet on fabric. Not a big deal if you have to rip it out, but it's annoying. And no one likes seam ripping. No one likes seam ripping. So I'm just going to see what I did on this side. Your name is Michael Jackson? Holy shit. Thanks for stopping by, MJ. That's bitchin'. I used to work with a guy whose name is Michael Jackson, too. Well, there's like a, th a thumb width between both magnets, so I'm just gonna take advantage of that and find my positioning. Perfect. Early stream do work better? Like, like um, early in the morning stream? I refuse to touch WoW, lol. I've been there when it was released 12 years ago. You refuse to touch it? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? It's easier than ever now to get into WoW. You can just boost your freaking character for 60 bucks and you're good. Play with me. I just do PvP now though. I used to be really hardcore into raiding. Um, but now I just like to kill kids. On my fucking holy paladin and enhancement shaman. And cosplay. Who actually sleeps? Yeah. Sleep is for the week. Now sleeping in, that's a whole other story. Going to sleep is for the week, but sleeping in? I'm all for that shit. I'm really good at sleeping in. I have eight alarms on my phone that sometimes don't wake me up. So I need to have like my mom alarm like my mom as my alarm and also um, an alarm across my room so I have to actually physically get up and turn the stupid radio station off. It's the only way. <sighs> what do I do for work? I just work at a cafe right now. I'm still doing my um, university job because I'm a new grad. Who actually sleeps? Yeah. I have a terrible styrofoam head um, from Michael's with its stupid head tilted, so it's so dumb. Yeah. <laughs> this is like the only styrofoam head that actually has like a little hole that I have that has a hole in the bottom. So it's perfect. Because this is like the little um, thing I got from Mithril. It's like just a desk clamp. I was so thrilled when they sent it to me with this wig. Oh my god. Sweetest ladies work there, I swear. I was so happy. So I think they're going to be carrying this as well um, soon from Mithril Wigs. I think .com. Let's go. Mithril Wigs. Yeah. Here I'll link it in the chat. Mithrilwigs.com. That's where I got my wigs from. Super sweet ladies. Awarded my. Oh my god. My magnet go. Ooh, fell. You thought your th you thought your three alarms were bad. Yeah, eight eight's the lucky number for me. Carry you, electrolyte. Carry you in what? PVP. I haven't logged on for like ever. I logged on on Friday and then my internet was just really shitty because we had the, like a major power outage on Thursday. I don't know. It wasn't a good time so I was like embarrassed and I had to stream for like half an hour and I deleted it because I was just like no one has to see that. No one has to see it. I think that's where I want my second magnet. So positioned it and now let's sew it out. Poke. 
for the fourth time today. No. Well, fourth time with the magnets. Your boyfriend would kill you if you had eight alarms. <laughs> Lel. <laughs> well, what? It's better to have like eight alarms and everybody in the house wakes up than you can be late for work. My whole family can suffer with me. Because my alarms are not quiet. My alarms are like full blast and like vibrating too. Ashley, get up! Get up for work! And I'll sometimes put like my metal songs on my alarm too. Like one alarm's like dee 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 dee. Then my other one's like, get up! Oh my god. Like, um, motionless and white kind of stuff. Like, industrial metal screaming at you. Wake up! <laughs> like, okay. Snooze. Well, then your boyfriend is a nice alarm. Hey, yeah. That's a good way to put it. Yeah, just set all the alarms you want, and then your boyfriend will wake you up. Perfect. Dear diary, never share a room with Ashley. Um, excuse me? I have the best wake up alarms. But I'm a bitch in the morning, too. Lel. Who isn't, though? Yeah, sorry, I have my, li my links delete. Or, uh, links disabled. Ow. Poke. Ow. Poke. I've tried to work with a thimble, too. But it just doesn't... I don't know. I like being able to feel the night or the needle poking through the wig. Uh, Mr. James74 is now following me. Thank you so much for following me. I appreciate it. Welcome to my creative stream. My first creative stream. Definitely not the last. Right now I just have to... My thread caught this little hook thing under the wig that you use to adjust the head on... Or the wig on your head. So I have to get the thread away from that. Mentioned it earlier, but it's worth mentioning, mentioning again. Make sure whenever you're pulling your thread... Um, your needle through the wig, the thread is not catching on anything because then that can uh, mess up how tight the magnet is going to be sitting on your head or attach the wig. You know, basic stuff. If your seam is loose, then the not exactly the strongest bond. Um. It doesn't actually wake him up, he just doesn't see the point in setting more than one. He gets up when his alarm goes off? How? how? Yeah, honestly. I do not wake up when my first alarm goes off. Like, that's just like a, a warm-up alarm. Everybody in the house wakes up, but I don't. Even though my alarm's like, right by my face. I don't trust myself. One time there's a problem at my store um, I work at, and myself and the coordinator my HR manager and our global loss prevention were in a room and he would your alarm on snooze. I can't read properly. You had your alarm on snooze still in the room. Lil. Was it like an embarrassing ringtone though? You wake up on your own at 4 a.m.? The fuck? I like go to bed at 4 a.m. I'll wake up on my like by my own at 4 p.m. <laughs> Today I woke up at uh, 1 o'clock. My 8 alarms went off at 10 o'clock. Like 10, 10.05, 10.10, 10.15, whatever. And then I was like, oh, 10 more minutes, whatever. Open my eyes again. 1.30. No, <laughs> I wanted to do stuff this morning. Apparently not. 
Uh, what do you normally stream if this is your first creative stream? I normally stream World of Warcraft. So my PvP uh, adventures in WoW. And I have been playing Heroes of the Storm a little bit, but I mostly just enjoy um, World of Warcraft. I really doubt people would want to see me play SimCity 4, but I'm totally down to stream that if that's... <laughs> If anybody, literally anybody, would care. I'm really enjoying the creative stream. Good to hear you be doing more. Oh, thank you! Yes, I'll definitely be doing more. I'll do one. I can do one like once a month um, with these wigs, too. I'll be getting a couple more wigs in with myth mithril wigs. And I have to get more practice at wig styling. I like wig styling. This kind of stuff is so much fun for me. All yesterday, I was working on Mercy. It's like, I don't even care. When I have a day off, it's just a lot of fun. Um, that should be good. I'm just going to cut this. You'd watch SimCity? Fuck yeah. SimCity's badass. I'm Right now, I'm making like a really, really gross city. Like usually, um, oh, Marco Polo QQ is now following me. Thank you so much for following me. Um, <laughs> I'm, I usually make like my really pretty, pretty cities. Um, like the big zones, because you get three different sizes of zones. Like small, medium, and like huge. And I usually reserve those for like my beautiful, medium, high wealth class citizens. But right now I'm challenging myself and making like a huge, dirty industrial city. But I also want to have like a decent environment rating and like zero water pollution and like good traffic and schools and shit. So that's it's fun. It's a challenge. Something new. But you know what? I'm like pretty good at that game, not gonna lie. I don't use any cheats or hacks either. I'm just fucking pimp. Only the loud default alarm on iPhone. Just download some cool alarms. You need an Ala Akbar alarm with a loud boom noise? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Yeah, that, that would do it, I think. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, I also didn't use commas in my story, so it made it hard to <laughs> read even to myself. <laughs> That's okay. I got it. It's like I'm better reading in here than I am at like reading and talking out loud. I was never good at that in school. Like when it's like, go around the class, read a paragraph each. I'd just be like, hyperventilating. You want to start doing cosplay videos? Do it. Please do cosplay videos. The free flowingness of information in the cosplay community is what makes the community special. Free tutorials! Yay! It's just art. There. So look, if I just hide the magnets, it's like nothing ever happened. You know, those um three hours? I don't know. I was just talking to you guys. You just found out the stream option on your PS4. That's sweet. You have to have like a broadcast software, I think. You missed SimCity 2000. You just put all your industry outside the, outside the map. That's cool. I made a wig that's basically my hair. Kind of, but my hair is darker. My hair doesn't have ombre, or this wig doesn't have ombre. Yay! Which other games do I play? Just World of Warcraft and SimCity. Sometimes do Tycoon if I'm feeling like crazy. That's basically it. And Roller uh, Rollercoaster World, which is meant to be the official successor of Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Sucks. Yeah, I've never played roller coaster. I've never played roller coaster tycoon, but um, I've heard.
funny shit of people just making half roller coasters and just like flying people off. Like, just boo! <laughs> like, holy shit. I guess it's not too much different than um, me making lion cages and putting unhappy guests in the lion in the, um, enclosure, but you just gotta do what you gotta do if you want your park rating to go up, right? <laughs> I'm just gonna test how this looks. I guess I didn't really have to take my headset off. But I'm just gonna test how this done side looks and try to find a position where I'm gonna put the other magnet on the other headdress. super fun for me and I guess that's the point of playing games. And I do cosplay so Shoichi Shintaro is now following me. I hope that's how you say your name. If it's not, correct me, but thank you for following me. I want to learn how to play League of Legends. Uh, my friend, Lunar Crow, is like just is in silver division. I don't know what that means, but she plays it a lot. And I mean, I'd like to. So do all cosplayers freak out on Halloween? Every day is Halloween for cosplayers. Um, I didn't really do anything this time. I just kind of stayed in and ate candy. I didn't do anything. Thank you for stopping by, um, Mark Iron. I hope I'm saying your name right too. I'm so bad, but yeah, thank you for stopping by! the second lowest rank it's not bad though are you in the league cosplay group on facebook yeah i am in the league cosplay group i've shared my valkyrie leona cosplay there a couple times but that was like last year so i probably haven't you know, probably haven't seen me around there but my cosplay page is ashley cosplay you can see my social media links in my description and stuff so if you want to check me out yeah silver um she does that's why she wanted to get out of bronze because she's proud of it so i mean um she just still goes to school so she's just doing her that's good
yeah, those the, I did share my head pieces into the League cosplay group. That smile, yeah, because I'm fucking reading chat as I'm trying to concentrate. God, will I sing Pokemon? Uh, 250 followers. Yeah, I already sang half of it. Why? Stop it! It's like you guys like bugging me. What the fuck? <laughs> Hardest part right now, trying to get this even. I should try it. I could easily do pool party, Leona. I just have to put a sunflower in my hair. I'm good to go. Um, is this the cosplay do thing I do? Yes, it is, Blazing Hot. Welcome to my cosplay stream.
didn't go. This is weird. Like the positioning of the magnet seems different on this side, so I'm just like gonna try to play with it to see if I messed up or something. I don't think so. It's just doing funky things. For some reason, I keep thinking making a thin headband would have been easier for three pieces. No, because I, I like having stuff in my wig. Like, I'm like good at putting stuff in the wig. Um, and it's like really secure, great for travel. And having a headband, um, it'd just be like a whole other issue of trying to hide it. Whereas magnets is really easy on and off. And you can't guarantee um, the positioning of the headband, like when you're wearing a costume for like seven hours at a convention. I like just putting everything in my wig because it looks like, I don't know, more natural. Like this one's a little high, but whatever. Whatever. Still Velcro, or still classic Leona E. Thank you. I love my Kylo Ren mask. My face is made for Leona. Aw, dang. Ooh. So stern like in the picture. It has the same ankle, which I'm really happy about. Don't cut out on Twitch. What do you mean? For some reason, this magnet wants to be really close. Like, wants to be like right kind of um, touching my fingernail here instead of in where that circle is. So that's interesting. I don't really understand it, but okay. I'll try one more time because it's happened the first time, second time. If it happens the third time, I guess that's where I'm going to put the magnet, but the magnet was a lot farther away, like where that silver circle is in my in this one that I'm wearing right now. So
wants to be closer to his friend. Can't you understand? <sighs> I guess so. I guess you could say they have a magnetic relationship. But doesn't ma it doesn't make any sense because they're two opposite magnet netic things. What if I switch sides? What do you mean? Yeah, but it's like, in real life, people are often attracted to the opposite. But like... I don't know. They don't even have an uh, attraction. What's going on? Whatever. Whatever. Um, this one... This one's different, for some reason. I mean... Did I sew them drastically different? I guess it doesn't really matter, but... Yeah, that one looks... I don't know, guys. I don't know what's going on. But I'll do what I felt. So, let's do it. Let's do it! Um, magnetics share the same love. Same love! Yeah, whatever. They like each other, they like each other. Heating up this black warbler and the regular warbler. Making that inferno. I'm gonna burn myself so hard. It's gonna be great. <sighs> okay, making sure I place that in the correct position. Just pressing it down with my nails because it's really hot right now. Pressing the warbler down. Trying to make sure it doesn't spill over the sides here. Here, it's hot. Ow. Mm. Trimming off the excess warbler because I don't want it to. Can you see that? You can't even see that. My camera is too far away. Trimming off the excess warbler that has no business being there. More pressing down. I hope you get it all sorted. Get it sorted out. You have to go for a little because you're working. With your gun and grab the metal ring. Are you leaving? I have to go for a little while. Yeah, okay. Um, see you later, ship sir. Thank you so much for stopping by, by the way. I appreciate you and everybody else watching me. I feel so special. <laughs> I didn't know, I didn't um, think people would actually like watch me do this, but it feels great. Bye! You feel bad about your bad English skills? Don't be. Don't feel bad at all. I getcha. 
you really want my headset, but you're okay with your $250 headphones. $250. The fuck? My last headset I have I had for like six years, and it was like held together with like tape. So I'm pretty happy with these. They were on sale, so <laughs> couldn't resist the deal. I decided uh, a couple weeks ago to treat myself to a new monitor. Cause my, my other monitor that I got for Christmas. This is my new monitor that I got for Just Cause Day for myself. Um, <laughs> and then I got headset. Cause I to replace my six year old shitters. Cloud hype. You burned your hand. That's not good. Pay attention to the heat gun. Okay, well. It's kind of even. It kind of looks weird on a wig head because it's not like proper shaped like a human head. Ugh. We'll see. I'll try it on right now. I have a good fan base. I'm happy that people like me. I like being liked. <laughs> You'd never spend that much on headphones. Yeah, I'd rather spend like $250 on like fucking new fabric or blah blah. Have a good night. Good luck with the wigs. Um, turn live notifications on so you'll know when. <gasps> Thank you. I appreciate you coming by. Thank you, RG or RG Zerky. <laughs> Thank you.
look so good. <laughs> I'm so happy that they worked out. Oh, man. Yay, and they're like even, too. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Yay, thank you. <laughs> um, Ashley, maybe you are just special? Just get some positive thinking. I hear you. Uh, we often say negative things about yourself in the last hours. Come on, man. I'm sorry. I am. I get really critical of myself, especially when it comes to cosplay and anything. That's my way of not getting too. I don't know. Just staying humble in a way. <laughs> Putting myself down. I don't mean it. <laughs> I try. I try. <laughs> Thank you guys. I'm just working out some knots here. And I have one more piece to put in. I'm gonna do five out of seven. Fuck you, Brandon. Okay, but some like someone said you're pretty and instantly said made this ugly face. <laughs> That's just me. I just do that. I mean, damn. You see the way I'm admiring myself in this like fucking webcam. I need to get a life. <laughs> Okay. Now this time we're gonna be working right in the middle. So I have to make sure that we're getting right in the middle. 
Um, gonna have to work at parting this right down the middle. It's not off center or anything. It's the same playlist. Yeah, it's just like a um, what is it? Best of non-copyright songs, so like Twitch doesn't mute me. Cause um, all my broadcasts are recorded, so you can you have the option of watching it like after I stop streaming. But Twitch will also mute streams that um, play copyrighted music in the background. TV for good, it's not following me. Thank you for following me. I appreciate it. Here. Just combing out the bangs here so I can part them nicely. I just got here and seen um, that for a second. Just a split second before I took it off. You thought that was my real hair? Thank you. <laughs> I've gotten a lot of really positive feedback on this wig. I'm so happy. It's absolutely gorgeous. And if you're new or if you're just wondering where this wig is from, it's from Mithril Wigs. Here, I'll, I'll link it again. Mithrilwigs.com. And um, yeah, they do awesome stuff. And they're local to me, so I'm super happy about that. Get the center part going. Okay. Um. For this time, I'm not gonna put a reinforcement under the wig because it's like I don't think it's completely necessary for this time because we're sewing directly into the lace. And we'll see. Sewing directly into the lace of the wig cap. Twelve to go for Pokemon. Oh my god. Are you counting down my followers for me? I never said yes, by the way. I never said yes. That'd be so embarrassing to sing on stream. My god. Please don't make me do it. I've had nightmares about this shit, okay? Cause I si okay, I sing all the time. Like, in real life. So I, had, I keep having these weird nightmares about Twitch. I keep having nightmares, and um, one of them already came true a couple weeks ago. I'm not going to tell you what it was, um, but another one is that I'm singing, and I don't notice that people are watching me, and they're watching me, so I somehow forget that I'm streaming. Everybody's laughing at me. Way too vivid, man. This wig is so thick, I can't even see the cap. That's good. I like thick wigs. They look gorgeous when you put them on. Yeah. Um. I already know that I want magnet to go right in the dadgum center here, so I'm just gonna get my magnet again. What's my favorite music? Uh, my favorite music is like heavy metal. <laughs> like, um, I mean, I'd play it, but I feel like people would leave, so I'm not gonna. <laughs> um, I like thick wigs and I cannot lie. Yeah. Oh my god. Is this your attempt to, to get me to sing? It will not work. Um, what was I saying? Hello, Jiggy11. Jiggy, Jiggy, Jiggy. Yeah, um, I like 
Right now, New Year's Day is like really doing it for me. And uh, Motionless and White. And Avenged Sevenfold is like my all time favorite. And Linkin Park is another all time favorite. I like the harder music. This is just easy listening because people don't like what I like. I don't mind it. It's funky. Really hip. Do I take song requests? Not right now. I mean, if, if it's something that everybody else would like, then sure. But right now it's just easier just to play whatever this is right now. I'm good, Jiggy. <laughs> Jiggy 11. How are you today? I'm just working on my cosplay or my little mini project. We did so much work today. I'm so excited. That will work. I guess it's gonna be a little bit off my head. It's gonna be a little bit off my head because the magnet between my skin. Do I like Nightwish? I have not heard of Nightwish actually. I don't know. I, I like what I like. Oh, and Amaranth is really good. I've, I've been listening to Amaranth like a shit ton last couple days. They're not like completely popular, but damn. Damn, they're so good. I have to like discover music on, myself, on like, my own to actually like it. I know, I'm weird like that. Like if somebody tells me to listen to something, then I'm just like, okay. But if I discover it, and I'm just like, oh my god, this is the best thing ever. Nightwish? Okay, god damn it. Stop! <laughs> if I actually will like it, then don't tell me I'll like it. You're just watching an old Linkin Park concert? Yo, Lincoln Park's amazing. Oh, they were at BlizzCon? That was like, best day ever. Oh my god, that was like, dream come true. I was so stoked. Freaking Lincoln Park at BlizzCon. Oh my god. I couldn't have asked for a more perfect band at BlizzCon. I was so happy. You Are you actually surprised? that I don't I don't know about them or like are you just trolling me cuz I swear to god It's funny cuz I play a lot of hard rock and heavy metal but one of my favorite artists is Ellie Goulding. Well, it's like easy listening, right? Everybody likes easy listening. <clears throat> like this is kind of easy kind of. You can dance to it. I like old and new Linkin Park. Epica is cool. I haven't gotten really into them. Like I've heard I've heard them. But I haven't really gotten into them. All I know is that their singer is like super pretty. And I'm just like, fuck. So jealous. Okay, I'm going to sew this into the tip top of my wig. So it kind of hangs down. Hangs down like that. On my skin. BB metal. Rig is BB metal. I swear to God. That should be good enough.
Epic has a beautiful product line. I, I only heard like a couple of their songs, but that was like a while back. I like their Facebook page, so I get like updates and shit, but I haven't listened to their music in forever. Metal is awesome! People like. People are like, I don't know, like low key diss metal because it's not like pop or something. It's just like. Who do you think you are? What kind of like genre is uh, Lincoln Park? Because I've liked them since like grade five. They're so awesome. Disturbed. Oh my god, I love Disturbed. Disturbed is actually what got me into liking all the stuff. They are intense. I actually I drew David Draymond, um, just like in my um, free block in high school. And then I tweeted him. I was like, lol, look at this picture I drew of you. And he freaking messaged me back. He's like, so cool or something in like caps. And I was just like, screaming. Oh my god. Ugh. I was so happy. Like, Senpei noticed me. <laughs> Hope it's in the middle there. Baby Metal is J pop metal fusion band. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell is that? Yeah, Disturbed is amazing. Like, that thing that David Draymond does, that, like, oh, uh, 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 thing. Um, oh my god. Like, I can... I'm not gonna fucking do it, but I can do it, like, when I'm not streaming kind of thing. Like, only when I'm not streaming. I, can't, I actually can't do it when I'm streaming. Um, and it, like, ruins my throat. I don't know how he does it. Like, I know he goes in for, like, surgery and shit. Like, it's not good for him either. But damn, so badass. Right now, I'm just trying to position this magnet on my head. I think it looks good there, so I'm just going to start sewing. Oh, don't you tease us. I'm not going to do it. Lincoln Park is industrial experimental rock. Yeah, because they're not really metal. They're just kind of... They're awesome. Like, their songs, it's just like... Ugh. Check out Baby Metal. You might actually like the music because they do, um, they do use actual band. That's good. I mean... Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Ramstein? Ramstein is badass too. I was at a Motionless and White concert uh, last year. Um, and they did um, Do Hast. Just like between their main songs. And I was just like freaking out. Because I mean like. Everybody knows that song right? And it's so fun. Do. Do Hast. Ow. That is a great song too. I like their band. I like that band. I don't know too much by them, but what I have heard, I've definitely not turned off. Anybody like Volbeat? What's Volbeat? Chest Chester's vo vocal range is insane. Yes. Yes, he is an amazing singer. I absolutely love him. Morgan Stern is a great song by them. By Ramstein? Life. I'm gonna have to look at so many different bands after this. Full Beats a Danish metal band. Interesting. Oop. Distracted. There. Thread didn't go all the way through. That's not good. Do, 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 do. 
I mean, so many of you like this these, this music. <laughs> I should. I feel like I should put something else on, but nah, this, this music mix won't get me muted on Twitch. I'm almost done sewing this in here. I really hope it's a. I positioned this well. I did a lot of fucking sewing. Oh well. If not, it's easy. I can just rip it out. Rip it out! It's kind of like, um, what's the word? What is the word? I don't know the word. It's weird how long cosplay takes you to do. Like, I estimated, oh yeah, I'll just do this in like two hours. Like, no, it's been almost like three or four hours. De it's deceiving. Cosplay is deceiving. Goodness. Um. Oh man, I hope that's okay. Hmm. Let's take these pins out. See how it lays with the hair down. A perfect circle is a band. Another band I might like. I don't know this word, Ashley. 2016. Hey. I don't know any words. I just like do random stuff and talk random things. I don't know how to English. Not bad. Boop. It keeps the hair apart, which is good. Just hope that's center. I don't really like older music for some reason. <laughs> like, I like disco music when you're listening to, like, whatever, like, the diva queens at bowling and you're just, like, fucking owning. Okay, not gonna lie, I'm really good at bowling, so. Little little um, fun fact about me one time I got 235 points on a on a single game so good I'd go there like twice a year whatever Let's see this I'll just attach this YOLO see what happens I know I dropped something all this music for you is Johnny Cash I mean he has like some really popular like timeless timeless songs like I'm just a sucker for new music like even like my favorite bands I like all their new music I don't know what it is. Oh, I don't know. Where is my warbla? Here's the warbla scrap I got. I'm gonna cut it up. Um. Thanks to follow you have 1950s music. Damn them video games. Good for nothing. Remember as a little boy, every time um, you're at your grandparents' house, your grandpa would play his favorite vinyls. Oh, vinyls. I remember like cassettes and shit. 
It's basically as far back as my um, old technology experience goes, I guess. Yeah, so pushing my magnet through the warbla again. La. There, little things are through the warbla. Pressing the little claws down. Damn. I have to position the sucker right in the middle, too. Hmm. Probably put. Probably put this a little too close to the edge of the warbla, but whatever. Most important thing is getting it very, getting it center. It's like right in my frickin' forehead. And you want to, um, ob obviously with like warbla, you wanna get it right the first time because it sucks to have to reheat everything, and that's when you can cause bubbles too. If um, you keep reheating. Kind of ruins the adhesive quality too. Uh, ow! Still hot. Hi, Chipil09! What is up? Ow! <laughs> I'll never learn! Make sure it's flat in all regards. Push me down to the ground. Hope this works. You won't put the flame out. You can't get to me. Say what you want. This is a little skewed. It's better. Sink too much of me. Good enough. Dubstep hurts your brain. <laughs> Lil. Yeah, I'm not really. I don't really like like heavy, heavy whoop 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 dubstep. But like female vocal works. Right in the middle. So like, hey, if this works out, then I'm basically done. I'm basically done. Only took me four hours, right? Let's hope it works out. Then after this, I gotta um, try styling Mercy's hair more. Cause I want to make her better for Sacrocon. Oh yeah. I guess this one will be a little wobbly. But we'll see how it is on. It might lie different. Didn't think of that. Shoot. Oh well, we'll see. I mean, I'm I'm not really wearing this out anywhere, so we'll see.
Okay, I'm just gonna go have to go ahead and make um, a secondary attachment because it's it is gonna wobble. And even though I'm like not wear it, really wearing it anywhere, then that's just annoying. I should have thought of this. Whatever. Virgin Slayer is now following me. Thank you, Virgin Slayer. And keep me safe. Chippo9 is following me. Thank you so much for following me. Thank your TV says nice ass. How? Um, if you look at the forehead piece, it's actually not laying flat on her forehead, it's sort of in front of um in front of her forehead. I feel like I'm just gonna add another magnet that hangs down and then that will solve wobbling problems. Should be good. Oh, hey, Dave. Uh, uh Linnae Sostra is now following me. Thank you. Come watch my. Hmm, creative stream. Welcome to my first creative stream. No, no, I, no. I do not have that many followers. Oh, I do. I have 253 followers. Oh, thanks, guys. No, it's alright. We we missed 250, so I'm sorry. You want to see the Kylo help Kylo mask? Sure. I mean, it's like it's just a mask, but I'll show you it. I can fulfill Banker's Banker TV's wish for more ass. So here you go, Banker TV. Fucking.
see it, but it lights up with like um first the main hilt and then the cross guards light up. So cool. Um, I follow you on Facebook and want to say going to come to Anime Revel, but your friends are too busy. Oh, well, meet each other online. <laughs> Hi, Anime Revolution is so much fun. Definitely go last year. You go, Grill. Thanks, Avira. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I feel so well, like a fucking loser. There, actually using my headset. Um, does it vibrate? Yeah. Um, it makes sounds too. Uh, I don't know if you can hear the sounds. I don't know if you can see this. Let's turn off the lamp. Uh. Oh shit! You can kind of hear it. Can I pick up the red bag on your left? No. Why do you come into my stream with weird questions? And it, and it makes make sound when you hit stuff too, but it's not like a real lightsaber, obviously, because I can touch it. So, next best thing though, it's pretty heavy. It's like metal, but I should probably fix the rest of my wig here. I actually need to do this first. So for you new people here. Here, so I basically have Valkyrie or um, classic Leona fixed, but because it like moves, I have to create a secondary fixing on this because <sighs> I'm dumb and I didn't um, do two magnets like I have been preaching for every all my other pieces, but it's easy. It'll take me five minutes to quickly do it right now. So let's get to it. Sick helmet, thank you. My hair is so long. Yeah, it's like it needs a cut. Honestly, <laughs> I haven't had, I haven't gone to the hairdressers in like three years. I never go to the hairdressers. Woe is me. It's like two October's ago, I think. Just leave it sideways, yeah. <laughs> Leona. You gotta be the best mercy. Like, no one ever was. <laughs> to heal them is my real test. Um. I'm just gonna sew another little magnet directly beside my first one and that should stop it I should stop it from moving should by my calculations where's my needle oh dear where did my needle go Ooh. the Jew ginger is now following me Thank you for following me, the Jew Ginger. I appreciate it. And now I'm trying to find my dumb needle. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Good. No, don't don't want to step on that. Leoner. Almost got her to sing. I sang earlier, dude. <laughs> the Mercy version of Pokemon. Someone hack into her PC and go for the Pokemon song on YouTube. I don't know. Why do you want to hear bad singing?
you're out. All right, see you later. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by, Siberia. That smile, though. I'll be jumping for joy when I get this working. Because then I can paint these little thingies. I can start priming them today. Maybe I can do two layers of primer today. Because I'm going to paint them gold. And then do a little bit of weathering on them too, so they look pretty cool. Sorry, what's this cosplay? It's from League of Legends. It's a online game. I really hope this works. I don't want to do a third magnet. Um. So like usual, I'm just parting. I wonder if I can show you. There. Ugh. I'm just gonna part the hair out of the way. So I have actually, so I'm not sewing into the wig hair, so I'm sewing into the wig cap. Cause we're not here to sew into the hair. The cap. You can sew into some hair though, just so there's like hair under where the um, headdressy thing is. But I'm moving that onto my lap because it's a lot easier to work with, and it's on my lap. put a magnet in here. Magnet. <laughs> Can you just stand up and do a 360 spin? I don't think so. It ain't that kind of stream. Why do you want to see me in my pajamas anyways? What kind of Weirdo, are you? I'm just wearing my fucking baggy ass pants. I don't ask for this. Why do you want to see that? You're a virgin. You didn't have to tell us that. fell. side do I use? I'm going to use this side. I'm putting the thicker side attached to the wig. Cutting the little slots where the wig clamps will go through. Watch out, virgins. The virgin slayer is gonna get you. Let's talk about how cool Overwatch is! <laughs> I would love to talk about how cool Overwatch is. If I've played it! That fairly, fairly odd parents meme insert here. Come on. 
Fabric doesn't want to go. Come on, Fabric. Cut. There we go. Can confirm Overwatch is amazing. Why you guys do this? Why you do this? I need to try the division. God. I would just. I'd be the worst teammate, though, not gonna lie. Until I got better at first person shooter. I think I ruined my clamp. Kind of way weird. Hmm. I don't know if I can fix that. Yes, I can. Use my muscles! Mercy is bay. All hail healing overlords. Yes. I love playing healers. Like, <laughs> I'm really hard pressed to play anything but a healer. I didn't try anything really else at, over, or up at BlizzCon for very long. It's too focused on healing. Once you're good at something, though, like, you just don't really want to play anything else like I'm I'm good at healing so why would I want to play anything else that I'm bad at that I don't have as much fun playing uh. You'd be healing everybody and apologizing to everybody I shoot. That also goes along with being a Canadian. It's like, oh, sorry. Hit lel. Just get it? Because Canadians are apologetic. We're polite people. You're, you're probably gonna be a healer in the division. There's healers in the division. Fuck. All right. I'm already good at this game. Ugh. With my huge muscles, yeah. I used to, I used to be stronger. This is annoying. Um, so are you currently working on three cosplays? Kind of. Like, okay. I'm... I'm done Kylo Ren, so that's done. Um, Mer Leona's kind of like a mid mini project, so I don't really count it as like a cosplay. I'd have to take, um, do this wig and then I'm basically done, all I'm gonna do. I would love to do Leona in the future as like a, a legit cosplay, but that's like in the future for after I'm done my current cosplay, which is Jaina from WoW. And then um, Varian Wern from World of Warcraft, female version, is going to be done for BlizzCon. That's basically the little lineup. So basically, Jaina and um, Jaina and Varian this year is planned. Oh my God! Why? It's annoying to position these magnets because they're fucking sticking to each other. No! 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 Sorry, I'm not really showing you me messing up here. Gotta hope this works. Adele sure can sing, yeah. She doesn't really sing anything other than like ballads and stuff though. She's never really put out an uptown funk kind of song, you know? 
Come on, girl. Be happy with your millions of dollars. Fuck. Back. I must have died a hundred times. More like, uh, yeah. Cat Turd Collector, I love your name. It's definitely a name. Let's hope this works. I'm just gonna quickly... Oh my god, they're sticking to each other. This is annoying as hell. What is this? Making a wig? I'm attaching stuff to a wig. I'm not really showing very much of it though right now because I'm trying to fit trying to fix my mess up but yeah I'm making that character right there da, da, da. so I have these attached into the wig right now they're um, removed right now but I got them attached and now I'm just figuring out the top part on her head now um, but you know I think this I think this is like almost working I think so <sighs> Ashley, look up Carpool on YouTube. Nick, she did a Nicki Minaj rap and she nailed it. Maybe. Do I have to do more Adele research? Adele. She is a brilliant singer, though. You can't deny she has an awesome voice. Okay. I'm going to quickly get the stuff out of the way and make a Warbler um, magnet thing with... And hopefully. Am I going to a costume party? No, I'm just gonna <laughs> take pictures in it because <laughs> sounds like some fun thing to do. Anyway, time to go. All right, see ya later, Jay. Right? Jay? I think that's what you told me a couple hours ago. Your name is Jay. Where's my warbler? I dropped my warbler, guys. Where did it go? Oh, there, there it is. Bye! We will have a good night, good day. Do, 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 do. Especially with his fun music in the background. Any chance I will ever see a Diana cosplay from you? Yeah. I want to do Diana next. I love Diana. I'd have to add those back things into her wig. Or I can do like um, Dark Valkyrie. But my friend already did Dark Valkyrie. Um, so I don't know if I would do that one. But the, her classic skin is so pretty. <laughs> Dress up and take pictures? Yep, that's me. That's also what my... Um, well, that's my main hobby. Dressing up and taking pictures. Around ganking kids on World of Warcraft, of course. Syndra? Would I dress up as Syndra? Yeah. <laughs> Um, my main thing for these little mini projects is showcasing like the wigs that Mithra Wigs um, has. So I made Valkyrie Leona because she's just pretty. And to show off their um, Vanessa style, their longer Vanessa style. Oop, I shouldn't do that right now. Where did my... Ah! So much stuff around my cluttered workspace. I mean, you guys can see all this, which is like not too, too clever, cluttered, but this? <laughs> Game over, man. Game over. <laughs> so messy. No regrets, though. Let's put this on here. I haven't, um mapped out where I have to put my warbler um 
my warbler snap. So I'm going through that process again. So I'm just seeing how it will lie on my head. Let's turn this around and put it on properly. So I don't mess up again. Looking forward to you as Diana and hope for Syndra. See with Syndra, like, okay, Diana's easy. You just have to make those, like, that back thing. Um, but for Syndra, like, you have to make that, I'd have to make, like, that big head thing. So, I don't know. Syndra's an awesome, like, she has an awesome champ. I love her costume, so maybe I'll, like, legit cosplay her, but, um, Lunar Goddess Diana. I don't know what that one looks like very well. Yeah, I, I definitely should. Kitten War is now hosting my stream with seven viewers. Aw, Kitten. Kitten, why is she so nice? I love Kitten War, you guys. I love Kitten War so much. She's amazing. She's such a funny person, and she's so cute. And I love her. Hi, look at this cosplay stuff. Oh my god. Kitten. <laughs> What's my battle net? Uh, let's see. What is my battle net? Um, send me yours, and then, cause just so it's easier, easier for me. If you wanna add me on battle net, I okay. I just do PVP, World of Warcraft. So if you wanna kill kids with me in battlegrounds, then add me up. And um, yeah, just send me your battle net, and then we'll be good to go. I won't close my chat uh, when I log off. Of stream so then I'll just like scroll up and see you I like that Kylo Ren helmet you have back there thanks I put it on earlier I mean it looks exactly like what you'd think it would look like on me just and I made the costume I have a Kylo Ren costume that I have yet to even post um finishing pictures of Emerald X is now following me thank you for following me um, Ashley Lol, hey there, I have a message from Kit Kitty War. Would you please turn off your computer real quick? Thank you very much. You're, my you're the best. Would I please turn off my computer? Okay. Bah! No. Sorry, you can't do that right now. Not at the moment. I might turn it off after, but only because I have updates to go through. <laughs> Should be almost done here, guys. As long as I don't mess this up. Here, let's attach this last warbler. Uh, would I cosplay any other Overwatch character other than Mercy? I would. I love Farah. Like she's so badass with her all hair gear. Um, Diva's cute, but I don't know if it's quite my style. I wonder if they're going to add any more females. Like, <clears throat> I know they have, like, Zara. Or Zarya. Big Russian woman. And, I mean, I'm Russian, so... Mm. That'd work, but... I don't know. They'd have to come up with somebody really cool that I like. Oh, my God. It's hot. This is precarious. <laughs> Because it's so close to the edge here and I have so much war blood that I like cut off. That's alright, we'll do it, fam. You can always do it. Thank you for sending me your battle net. Lunar Goddess Diana is really cool. Atlantean Syndra. You hate females, no homo. That's okay. You don't have to like who you don't like. I hate polka dots. What the fuck's a polka dot? And your name's Prince Polka, so that's just an unhappy coincidence. Ah, uh, Lunar Goddess Diana's really cool. I don't know what she looks like. I have to heat my magnets up. I don't want to. Just to help smooth out the uh, warbler. It cooled a little bit before I could get to it. But 
There, two magnets under there. See what that works like. Polka dots are dumb, dude. Polka dots? I don't think I've ever owned something with polka dots that I've actually enjoyed wearing. This lady likes to make costumes, dress up, and take pictures. That's basically what I do. Okay, wanna watch me see if this is gonna work out? All right. Now the real test, headbang. Burr! <laughs> I just had like a pin still hanging off my attachment up there. And this is kind of wobbly, but it's not bad. Gets the job done, which I'm really happy with. I just have a way to, I'd have to have a way to stabilize that. But, look is there. I 
cut off some cloth. But for the purposes of it's up. It's up, guys. Yeah, I'm dressing up as Leona from League of Legends, so. That chick right there. What's my stream, dear? You're on it, dude. stop flopping. We'll figure out a way. I always figure out a way. We'll have to be creative off my stream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got it. And I have to paint it gold too. Spirit gum, the magnet that flaps your forehead. I don't want a spirit gum though. God. Do something. Something. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Speak into the side of your mic. That'd be facing you, not, not the tip. Do I not sound loud enough though? Someone like yelling. Spirit gum it to your face? <laughs> I don't want to. Yeah, it's that side. Damn it, I don't want that, though. I'll make. Whatever. Cut the string off. The gist is there, though. Yeah, this one, I think just because this is a little bit longer than this side, but if I just adjust it a little bit, it's fine. Eh. It's hard being symmetrical. That's fine. It's fine! <laughs> Do you want to add me on Steam, Banker? I don't know, you didn't really give me the best first impression, so I don't know if I want to give you my Steam. Duct tape fixes everything? Fuck. I need to do more angry eyebrows? I can't do that when I'm staring at a picture of myself. I can't. I can try <laughs> really hard. <laughs> um, put headband on underneath wig with more magnets. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do something. I mean, I'm not, I'm not wearing this cosplay out anywhere. I just want to. I just, I'm wearing it for like the sake of taking pictures at home. I have to comb it out too. Got really. Got really nodded when I was doing this. Um, yes, I was thinking of putting something like right here, kind of to keep it from going forward. I don't know what I'd do though. I'll have to paint maybe something. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> I uh, might be able to put more magnets in the wig on the left and right hand side of the bangs. Well, the bangs, they kind of follow my natural hairline. Oh, thank you for following me, Spaceballs1. 
my, the bangs kind of follow my natural hairline, so um, it'd be like across here. I'd have to put something. Not bad if I keep my head down. <laughs> Cause I, I always have like, yeah, my neck exposed. But if I keep my head down, it's not bad. Sorry, I'm just like admiring myself in the stream. I love Leona so much. I want to do this for like ever. Oh, so happy. Toupee tape, used for superhero masks. I don't have toupee tape. Why not make it like a tiara? I mean, I could. Put something like right under here. Yeah, with a little like warbler band. Patching from here to here. It's true. <laughs> Spaceballs one wins best username? Yes. Use some scraps to make it a little um blob stick it under the hair to hide it. stare at myself until I figure something out. Yeah. A TR. Like, yeah, I guess something that kind of goes like this would be the best. Eh, I don't want to do more work. <laughs> I don't want to make more warbler. Fuck. Maybe I will, though. You look great, by the way. I went to check Kit's stream and you're, you're confused for a bit. Yeah. I'm Kit. I'm just Kit-ing. Um. Yeah, the picture I posted looks like a kind of tiara band. Well, like, I don't know. They're... Like, her actual skin doesn't... Looks like just like this kind of thing, right? But you're right, like there is like a little little tiara band. If I was to make anything else, I'd do it just off of stream. And I'd just like post it later on my Instagram or um, Facebook. Cause, well like, for like, if I wanted to wear it to a convention, yeah, I'd, I'd add something. But just for my purposes, I don't know if I'd add anything else. James Roar is now following me. Thank you, James Roar. Thank you for following me. Shopper sells flash tape. Holly North and Burnaby has top stick. Yeah, well, like. Mm. <sighs> Will I make my skin darker? No. <laughs> no, I don't want to make my skin darker. I love being with a pale Irish Russian girl that I am. Is it tiara in game? Let's just check out some shit here. Let's look up Leona. Leona. Leak. Let's check out. I need a bigger picture. Search tools, size, large. Let's check out the splash. I don't see anything in the splash, which is what I was following most of the time. Um. Yeah, how does that even work in real life? You know what? Leona just doesn't make any sense. Because when I did her classic skin, um, she's like fighting in like these like fucking stripper ho stripper shoes. And I'm just like, how do you rush into battle with like heels on? I could barely, barely last like four hours four hours at a convention without being in goddamn pain the whole time. Irish slash Russian. Yeah. That's me. I'm pretty damn white. Um, is she wearing that stuff in game? 
Oh, what is she wearing in, in game? Uh, let's see here. I wonder if I can bring it up. Add to my stream. Actually, you know what? I'll just fucking link it. Here, that's easier. Way easier! Is it a helmet? No, I don't know. This is just like head decoration because she's like chosen by the sun. So she's like kind of like the sun goddess, I guess. Sun goddess. Yeah, Leona's tough. Like I'm supposed to be like able to take a hit. How oh, do I take a hit when my TR is going back and forth? I gotta do Teemo? Fuck, no! I don't even I don't even play League of Legends and I already know I hate Teemo. Why? Satan, yeah. Really. This distracting the enemies? How is she keeping her tiara on? Psych. I'm doing it good, pretty, hee <laughs> hee. Merci. <laughs> I can like understand a little bit of French, so. C'est de Fabienne Jolie. Kindred? I think too many people have done Kindred, so I'm just like, nah. No. I'm looking at the blown up version of the photo we have on stream. She has tiara band. Yeah. Is that, I don't. I mean... How do I feel? I mean, I can just like add it. I could add it so quickly. Would I be guaranteed that it would not wobble? I guess so. Sorry, uh, I don't have links enabled. Just to keep those, like, dick pics under wraps. Like, none of that. Um, I mean, I could do it right now, but I don't want to, like, make you guys have to stay with me any longer. Um, would you, would you want to see me try to fix it? Easiest fix would be something under the hair. Yeah, if I was to fix it, I'd probably do, um, let's see. I do what Velvet Rose Creations pointed out. It's kind of like a tiara. So I'd, I'd do like, um, I'd just attach like a thin, like a little bit of warbla, just like on the side here, and bring it right up to my hairline, and then I'd put a magnet onto it. That would probably be easiest to do. Um, Skyless205 so is now following me. Thank you for following me. Uh, hope you're enjoying my stream. I feel really pretty as Leona, not gonna lie. So I'm just like checking myself out, which is really embarrassing because you guys are watching me do that. <laughs> like a cube. If I was to put anything, if I was to like hold it up, I'd have to put something right under here be, just to keep it from falling forward a little bit. Um, I can easily try that. Let's see. Let's try it. Let's try it.
sure if I'm changing it, but I should keep it black. I have to, I have to make it gold. That's Leona's head thing. But yeah, the black looks cool. I'm like, I'm digging it. Yeah, we have to make it gold. Gold and shiny. So I'm gonna try a really quick fix and see what that does. Putting my scraps to work. Hello, along the dark shore. Welcome to my stream. Like a little shelf, just a little thing protruding out the back of this that will just like prevent it from wobbling. We'll see what we'll see if it works. What's the silver string? It's a pin I forgot to kind of cut off, so I'll remove it um, in a sec. But yeah, that's not really supposed to be there at the moment. Just waiting for this warbler piece to cool down that I added in the back.
still cooling, so I'm not going to try to headbang at the moment. And I don't know if it's going to be perfect, but it'll definitely fix a lot of my problems. You can kind of see it, but I'll paint it uh, so it looks like it's meant to be there. I'm not keeping them black, unfortunately. <laughs> they look cool, but um, they're gonna be gold, like the picture. What do you mean by a cube? I kind of, I put a, not a cube, but I put a, a three layer warbler behind. Just taking a while to cool down. It's a lot of heat. Yeah, that fixes my problem. Obviously, I'm not gonna be like whipping my head back and forth. I'm not gonna be whipping my hair back and forth like Willow Smith, but fixes it. Yeah. You can kind of see it in the back here. But I will design it. I'll add more to it when I'm off stream to make it look like it's not just a piece of warbler I stuck back there. Even though it is. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing it like the picture. I didn't I pur purposefully did not paint these because I knew I was gonna be working with heat and maybe modifying them. But they will be gold. Shiny gold. Because Leona is of the sun. So. I don't know how much resistance Warble has. Um, what do you mean resistance? It's really, it's like, it gets really stiff when it's cool. Ooh. It gets really stiff when it's cool. That's a cool piece of warbler. Just a scrap that I have. So yeah, that's a cool piece of warbler. Not a whole lot of pressure is being applied. Do I follow a pattern or freehand? I freehand it. I made my own pattern. The base, um, like the actual, these themselves, they are made with um, pink insulation foam. Like that you'd get from like the hardware store, and then I covered them with uh, Warbler thermoplastic. These are the the black um, black Warbler, I guess. It's a little different from regular Warbler, but it's does the same job kind of thing. It's still thermoplastic, still heats up um, and bends when you heat it up. <laughs> and um, has like really minor adhesive qualities. Definitely not as sticky as the brown stuff. Definitely not as sticky. And it's definitely not as strong either. So you have to be careful when you're working with it that you don't rip it. And if you do rip it, you have to patch it up. <laughs> I patched mine up a little bit, but you can see it in, the, in this picture right there too. But no matter, still gets the job done. And it's smoother too which means I don't have to prime it as much. If I put health pressure on it, then of course it bends. Well, it's like, I don't know. It's not, it's like a very like light pressure. It's just like one piece of, this is just one piece of um, warbler, so it's kind of bendy. But after, if you put like um, craft foam behind it, it makes it stronger. Hey, 
It's not wibbly wobblying. I'm so happy. Yeah, I guess that's like done. I basically did it, guys. Super stoked. Super stoked. Let's see who's all watching me today. I haven't like listed off my viewers at all. Oh, let's see. We have along the dark shore artemis celesta cascades 33 clever name underscore dave 829 um kobe um lay sostra raynor 1337 um rakila maru along the, along the dark shore is now following me thank you for following me i appreciate it um rakil amaru is here, um, Sephiroth, Se Sephiroth, SDX, um, SJ Hiker 2, Saj, Sorg Vinter, Sorg Vinter, Spaceballs 1, Stufers, Toughnator, and Vitek 214, and of course, my mod, Be Clems. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching me. I appreciate it. And Hannah Bananas, who is now following me too. Thank you so much for following me. Yay! Holy crap, somebody said my name right. Sephiroth? Well, you're from like Final Fantasy, right? I think it's Final Fantasy. Yeah, because like, I've never played that game, but you know, you'd have to live under a rock to not know <laughs> who Sep Sephiroth is, right? You didn't learn magnets to technique? Okay, yeah, um, ask me anything, because I went through a lot today. If you have any questions, just let me know. If you have any questions, just ask me, because I will answer them all right now, before we leave, because I basically, I've accomplished all that I've had to do today. Um, my magnets on the forehead though, those are under my wig. So I've been attaching everything under my wig. See? If I lift it up, you can kind of see, you can see it. It's on my wig. I sewed two magnets here, two magnets here, and two magnets over here. So I have eight magnets on my, six magnets on my head in total. Um, Yeah, and I sewed all of them into my wig during the stream, which has been lasting for five hours. Holy shit. Time flies when you have lots of shit to do and you're having so much fun. Dude, does that answer your question, Spaceballs1? If you still need to know, um, you can watch my past broadcasts, um, which is gonna be saved and appear on my channel um, after I end the stream tonight um, shortly here and then you can kind of fast forward to all the bits that um, you've missed maybe or you need clarification on because I went through sewing um, fabric to un underneath my wig sewing magnets into my wig putting warbla um, magnets on warbla and attaching them to my wig and kind of positioning as well and fixing little bits that may not fit properly I still have to cut this off. Would I rather be respected or loved? Respected. I don't care if people love me. Just don't be a dick and respect me. <laughs> I'm missing out by not playing Final Fantasy. I know. I have World of Warcraft, <laughs> though. So I don't mind. <laughs> you want to cosplay? I like. Thank you. <laughs> I did a Valkyrie... Valkyrie Leona cosplay. If you want to check that out, here, I'll actually link it, cuz why not? Link, linky, linky, link. I'm just checking it out through my Facebook. Finding the photo for that. There we go. Me. Um, I live under a rock, feels bad, man. Knows you're still missing the shield in Pokemon. Oh, I know. 
Shield will come later. Pokemon. I don't want to see. <laughs> Why do you want to embarrass me like that? Oh my god. <laughs> Caught yourself. Five hours. Holy crap. Yeah. Will you post your stream dates on Facebook page? I. I always post when I'm gonna be streaming on my Twitter. So I have my Twitter link under my like welcome section on in my description. So if you wanna like check out when I'm streaming, um, you can follow my Twitter. Um, sometimes, oh, um, Ryuku San Roku Roku San cosplay is now following me. Thank you for following me. I appreciate it and welcome to the stream. Um, I usually will post on Twitter, sometimes Instagram, sometimes Facebook. Um, depends on how I'm feeling, of course. Or you can follow me, and then you can get email notifications. And I will usually be streaming um, 10 p.m. Um, weekend, weekdays. The only reason why I'm not streaming, why well, I streamed earlier today, is because um, I didn't work today. It was my day off, so look what I got to do instead. But yeah, usually 10 p.m. is when I will start streaming. And usually World of Warcraft, PvP, unless I have a day off and then I can do something like this. Like, um, I have to paint some Leona Pro- or, um, not Leona, Jaina Prodmore, like this cosplay right here. Some Jaina armor soon, so maybe I'll do that next time I have a day off, which is probably Monday or Sunday. Yeah, I could do it Sunday too. I just have a lot of Mercy stuff to get done before uh, SakuraCon next week. Um, so I'll be just working on her. But I'm defi definitely going to be doing another uh, creative stream because it's been like so much fun and people are like watching me and I get like good feedback and we had like a group powwow section going on when this thing didn't work. Feels good, man. Yeah, add me on Twitter. Yay, thank you. But what if people respect you and hate you? People already hate me just for being me. So, I mean, you can hate me, but at least respect that I'm a person and I have feelings and just... I'd ra why I would not want to be loved and not respected. Like, I'd rather people be like, oh, I hate her because she's, like, too fucking real as opposed to being... Oh, I love her. And then behind your back, she's such a fucking bitch kind of thing. Like, you know, I don't expect anybody to treat me a certain way. Um, but being nice and a decent human being and respectful is always A+. <laughs> um, yes, I have a lot to learn about this. You're doing good when you spray paint them gold. Yes, I'll be posting pictures next week of me um in this I still have to like prime them and spray paint them but yeah definitely post that next week totally check out some more League cosplay yes League cosplay is fun I don't play League of Legends but I like the character de character designs someone told me to come troll here I always ask permission from the streamer first though not that a yes or no will matter you can troll whatever you want but do you, man? We're almost done, so it kind of your trolls are probably lost on me today. Um, probably this coolest sword I've ever seen. Oh yeah, I'm Valkyrie Leona. Thank you. I made that cosplay in three or two months, under two months, and I made the shield in like two days. Ha! Huh, that was a fucking ordeal. Cause I was um rushing it for a convention and. Uh, just uh, I just played too much World of Warcraft earlier in my in my costume progress, and it just wasn't a good time when it came down to fuck Leona needs a shield kind of thing. That was for AR last year. I made a whole blog post post about that. Ah, oh, you're amazing. I liked your I liked your fab. Thank you. Thank you for thinking I am amazing. Girl, you sexy. Thank you. <laughs> I don't want to embarrass you, but I know that you will look um, back at this moment and feel good about it. You need to celebrate 250 somehow. 
I don't want to sing. You guys are going to laugh at me. <laughs> um, that I'm going to have to resub my WoW count. Yes. You PvP. I always PvP. And I'm always looking for friends to PvP with. Oh my god, you going to SacraCon? Yes! I'm going to SacraCon. I'm bringing Nui and Mercy. No -do doc Noro Doc. 27 is now following me. Thank you for following me. I appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you so much. We're working on Leona too. Which skin? I have Valkyrie Leona down. But not this one. I would love to do this one soon. After Varian and Jaina. Respected and loved. Yeah, respected and loved. I wonder if trying to cosplay a character with the same colored hair makes it all the easier. Having no soul doesn't help either. There are of a character. Having no soul doesn't help though. They are of a character has plenty of soul. Gingers don't though. What the fuck did I just read? That's, yeah, it is a wig. Thank you for thinking it's my normal hair though. Um. You've been playing League for six years? Since open beta? Jesus! That's alright, I've been playing World of Warcraft for nine years, so I mean... If you like what you like! I- you know what? You know what? Croty Josh, I wish I was Ginger. I feel like it would better just represent what's in myself. Plus, like, my, d my dad's side is Irish, so I'm like, I didn't get that. I didn't get to be the redhead that I know I've always meant to be. Now she has no hair? Yeah, I have none. But it makes- I have no hair, but it makes making- um, wearing wigs like a whole lot easier. Uh, once Overwatch comes out, I'll stream. I would love to stream playing Mercy as Mercy. Yes, I will definitely stream Overwatch. Um, forewarning, I'm not very good at first person shooters, so... Well, it's not really first-person shooters, more strategic, but probably not very good at it, but I'll try. Um, sing or riot? <laughs> Fuck. I don't know! Check out Lunar Goddess Diana's skin. Okay. I will. I've seen it. I just don't, can't recall what it looks like. I'm doing a gender-bent Iron Solari, Leona. Fuck. That's gonna be badass. I love Iron Solari. I, I contemplating. I was like contemplating, um, actually like cosplaying that too. When I was um, deciding which Leona skin I would cosplay back in not July, but last July, July 2014. I looked at that and I was like, hmm. But Valkyrie Leona was like, she was pretty bae. Not gonna lie. Been playing WoW since 06. I think me too. I think I've been playing WoW that long too. Am I the only one who knows she used the tongue? So soul is ginger with no hair and lesbian. I'm sold. How much? Priceless, baby. Can't afford me. Unless you'll buy me unlimited cosplay stuff, then we can work out a deal. Redheads are sexy. Yes. Yes, they are. <laughs> you'll carry me in Overwatch? Fucking deal. Please carry me in Overwatch. I'm pretty good at healing, but, you know. I like to brag. I'm so good at healing. It's as close to necrophilia as you can get. See the, the null soul thing. That's funny. I like that. You're funny. How can you be trolling if you're funny? Gender bend, fabulous Tarek. Um, my friend did. She did a couple skins of him. So I don't know. Not really my thing. I'm more if I'm gonna like cosplay anything really unless it's like with a group and I'd like to cosplay from World of Warcraft since World of Warcraft is my life and I'm already doing a gender bend um, of the King of Stormwind from World of Warcraft Varian Wern for BlizzCon so that's gonna be fun and gender bends are cool you need to remove the silver string yes I will do that after I take this off but I'm too excited right now I don't really want to even don't hide it hide it Oh, it's never there. It's gone now. Are you good at stopping morphs? Um, 
on WoW or in Overwatch? Polymorphs? I'm good at interrupting people. Unlimited cost cosplay stuff? Done. Address? I don't have my P.O. box, like, set up, but... Crody Josh, when I have my P.O. box set up, it'll be the first one I message about that, okay? Okay. I believe- I do believe trolls come in all shapes and sizes. You of all people should know. You play well. Trolls only have one model. Trolls only come in one size. Truffinator is now following me. Thank you for following me, Truffinator. I appreciate it. Where is Kitten War? Kitten War is probably asleep. It's past her bedtime. It's 11.38. Holy shit. I've been streaming since 6.30. Yay! That's because I am slow when I work cosplay. Lol, yeah, sheeps. I'm only following because I hear naked people walking. I'm only following because I hear naked people walk around in the stream. Yeah, they do. Even though they're at spring training until whatever. Talks 3v3 is now following me. Thank you for following me. Talks 3v3? My brother used to. My brother just plays World of Warcraft, like, with his underwear on. But he's not here at the moment. He's in baseball right now, spring training, and then he'll be back in September. So, yeah. The pace was good? That's good. I, I wanted to go at a decent pace, so you kind of, like, understood what I was doing. I like teaching. It's fun. And if I don't go to conventions a whole lot for, like, panels, then I can at least stream. And hopefully help people that way too. Side note, I'm a vanilla player. I hear we are supposed to tell everyone about it. Yes, thank you for telling me. I wouldn't have known if you're a vanilla player or not. I'm a BC player, so I'm like, I'm not as good as you, but I mean, I still play WoW. The troll you can select as a character does have one model, yet there are plenty throughout while it don't follow suit. That's true. It is true. Blizzard should be more inclusive of different body sizes for trolls. I play WoW in my underwear too. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? Yeah, exactly. But you know, if you're streaming, gotta put on a shirt at least, right? Vanilla player here. Lel. Mercy Pokemon theme song. I don't wanna sing! Why would I sing? That's embarrassing! That's embarrassing! I don't want to sing and now there's so much build up for me singing. It's like stressing me out, okay? Streaming it itself is already like nerve wracking. Why would I want to sing? Maybe maybe a next time. Maybe next time. Filthy BC Plebeian. Me too! I was only my um... I was only my hunter back in BC. And then in Wrath I leveled up other alts. I think. Yeah. Still waiting for an afro hairstyle in WoW? Yes. The fuck? Blizzard. Blizzard should get on that. I set Lightbringer trade chat in fire lols. Yeah, I used to troll too. It's fun, but then it's just like, what am I doing with my life? Kind of thing. Why didn't you call yourself Oshly Lel instead of Osh? Or instead of, um, lol. I don't know. I made this Twitch account, like, years ago. But I haven't actually done anything until, like, last month on it. Yes, next time. Filthy Shadow Priest turn rogue. Best combo ever. Get red wigs with a soulish, soulless fire crotch. Trolly enough yet? You're just ramping. Well, I'm gonna have to cut you short ramping, dude, because, like, I should go. It's, like, 11.41, and I want to have... Okay, I went to the farm market today, and I bought a fuck ton of salad, like, just lettuce, for, like, a dollar for two heads of iceberg lettuce. And I'm, like, okay, obviously it's not, like, the freshest shit ever, but I tasted some, and it's still really good, so it's just, like, I'm gonna cut up, like, two heads and just put a balsamic dressing all over it gonna be amazing. I love balsamic dressing so much. 
Am I gonna paint Tiara golden to make it look like the real thing? Yes. Yes, I'm gonna... After I end stream, I'll like start priming this. Um, till it'll be gold. And I'll post pictures on my Facebook, and my Instagram, and my Twitter. When it's all done. Cause I'm so proud of it. I feel so cool. Pika! You're supposed to sing something, making um, there be only one more chance for me to go all in. I'm holding a good hand. So if you don't sing, I'm playing that full nothing. But then you'll have so much more ammo to get if I start singing. I don't wanna sing. Can't make me. Maybe when I hit 5,000. <laughs> Yeah, in the distant future, that will like never happen when I have 5,000 followers, and I'll say whatever you want. Oh look, my thing is back. Whatever. Caesar dressing is best dressing? Yeah, okay, I like my Caesar salads too. My mom makes really good Caesar dressing, but sometimes I just fucking want the acidity of the vinegar. I enjoy that. I really enjoy Caesar. But balsamic is good too. Especially if you have like so much vinegar that it just like hurts your mouth after. You're just like, ah, but also like, yes, it's so good. Will I show a tutorial for the Warbla Leona headdress creation? I don't, well, I streamed it. So, I mean, you can watch what I did. <laughs> or are you talking about like the actual thing? Like the actual headdress? Cause I don't have a tutorial, but I posted a work in progress picture that you maybe will take interest in. Um, so here's a question. Can I donate for a, the chance to hear you sing? It will also benefit um, from trolling, trolling the shit out of you. Uh, I don't... <laughs> uh, see, your trolls can't. Your trolls don't, like, bug me, so I don't really care. But... I don't want to sing! <laughs> I'm gonna get like so red, oh my god. Don't sing if you don't like- okay. Uh. It's just- I don't- I usually don't sing in front of anybody. Like it's just like, okay, it's not like, oh I'm so- f I'm so scared, I'm so scared to sing in front of people. And I'm like good at it. It's like, no, I'm like mediocre at best. He helped me with the quick fix. Yeah, but whatever. You got a new Twitter follower? Aw, oh, thank you. Thank you guys for following me on any of my social media outlets. Then you can see all my progress on everything. Makes me feel so special. You see my phone case? So cute. God, beast pony. Oh, yes. So adorable. Perfect for a awesome support tank from League of Legends. Hey man, us gingers have lots of souls. Every time we steal one, we get a freckle. I have some freckles. I don't know if you can see it in this light though. Yeah, I have really tiny freckles. I love freckles. I wish I had more freckles. I wish I was a legit, like, redhead. Like, gingerhead. I need to brush this wig though. I'm not representing it. Best. If you guys are interested in this kind of wig, because they're super pretty, here, you can go to mithrawigs.com and they make really, really nice stuff. And they're local to me too. So, um, you know, help a brother out. And if you like what you see, then you can you know, maybe get something from them. And if you use my code, Ashley Ashley, you get 10% off your order. Lovely. Lovely. Um, technically I'm a day walker. I guess so. I kind of have like, my, my hair never really went red. It went from like blonde to brownie. It's not really brown though. I don't classify myself as brown hair. 
Um, I hope you do tutorials for Warble at some point in time. I'm bad. You're bad at it. I will stream. I'll stream my war my Warble stuff. Like when I get more into like varying and stuff. Yeah, I definitely wanna. I'll do more creative streams, and I'll do more than just like wig styling too. Because well, this is fun, but I also wanna do Warble stuff and painting. What's your price? You Mike holding wig having soulless turd. The fuck? That rude. Why you do this? <laughs> so I am a local dude. Help me out and sing Pokemon, bruh. Why? What could you possibly gain from me singing the Pokemon theme song other than blackmail for my future? Why? Trolling, remember? Del. Del. I know. I know. But you know what? It's almost midnight, so I, I'm not singing today. I am so sorry. I am not going to do it. My throat hurts from all this talking and denying me my singing today. But yeah. I did what I had to do. Got my Leona thing all done. And yeah, I think I'm gonna sign off. Anything else you have to ask me about Leona? Speak now or forever hold your peace, or you can just ask me later. <sighs> I have no souls, so sing. I don't wanna sing! Fuck off! You really want to know? It's uh, really because I think you will think back at this moment and feel good about it. It's a memory. You know what? I have enough memories. Oh, what did I do the other day that was like a memory? Ugh, I do too much. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go, guys. Cause it's it's getting late, and I have other things to do today. Cause I didn't realize it'd take such a long time to do the stream. But yeah. I want to thank all of the people who, for following me. I really appreciate it. I noticed I had 36 people watching me at one point. I'm just like, like freaking out and also really fucking honored because I love when people watch me cosplay. It honestly makes me really happy. And to share knowledge makes me really happy. And to have people like me makes me happy too. So yeah, um, have a great night. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much for watching me. By the way, watch my inbox. Okay. Bleep Zoop is now following me. Thank you so much for following me. Alright, ask me questions. PM me, whatever. I just have to end the stream. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good